donations the respect they deserve. We have a $40 received from Zenner Flux who said, this is for my grandfather. It's been 28 years, but we still miss you. Let's raise awareness and help others beat cancer. Put this towards the Zelda glitch exhibition. Also, $50 received from a Chiana Banana who said, just dropping in on my lunch to donate and say thank you to everyone involved and everyone who donates. It means so much to me because I lost my little sister to cancer 11 years ago. Every bit of money helps. And thank you both for your comments. Up next, as we continue the spooky games block, we have a run I know a lot of people are looking forward to. Carsey himself is the legend. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard by Carcinogen. It's a, on the PC, the new game Madhouse run. A couple no more donations uh, for myself here. I've been Prolix, I've been your host for this past game. I'll be getting out of here shortly. I uh, might as well read these though. Uh, like Totally Lily gave us $15 and said, loving this run. Thank you for all you do for charity. P.S. I heard Prolix has an eight pack. That Prolix is shredded. Well, well thank you. And then we have uh, $150 uh, for my best friend IRL. It's uh, the Wu-Tang RZA. Uh, I know everybody asks, no, it's not uh, the RZA, but uh, Wu-Tang says, hey, Brolix, you're doing an awesome job, and Nardine and I are always happy to help a good cause. Bring me home that console prize when I win it. Money goes to reader's choice. Okay, I, I see how it is, Wu-Tang. You're wearing your colors on your sleeve there by uh, showing you donated $150 just for that console prize pack. Well, let me tell you, I, I'm sure... I, I can't bring it home with me because somewhere it's in Scent's iron clutches and he has a look probably like near rabid on his face. Um, and he, he, he's behind me right now, isn't he? Yep. Okay, look, I, I got to go, everybody. Uh, uh, we'll be back right after these messages. And we're back. I'm April Cake. I'm back again for Resident Evil 7 Biohazard New Game Madhouse with The Carcinogen. Looks like we have a $140 donation from the Prince of Nepal. Shout out to my best friend, Emmanuel. He's been one of my biggest inspirations in my life when it comes to my daily battle with cancer. Love you. Thank you so, so much for that generous donation. And we also have $20 from Tyrannosaur25. Here's a little to help with the cause. Cancer is something no one should have to go through. I hope my contribution will help in the fight against cancer. Good luck to all the runners. Thank you to all of them for their contribution. And thank you to all GDQ staff who make this possible. Rummy donates $50. Once again, you guys have done a great job at making this event amazing. Much love from the Philippines. I'll donate an additional 50 if you get my name right. Oh, no. Rummy? Rumi? Uh? <laughs> if either of those are right, I would love that extra 50 for the charity. And we have an anonymous $40 donation. Great run. I still remember playing with... Let me start that again. Great run. I still remember playing this with my good friend, and we found the dropkick so hilarious, we used it nearly exclusively. The playthrough was very long. P.S. There is no P.S. I just made this up to mess with you runners. 
Thank you so much for your kind donation. Now it does look like we currently have a bid war still running for Blood 2, which comes up in a couple runs here. Um, there is a bid war to play as either Ophelia or Caleb. Now when I checked earlier, Caleb was winning, but Ophelia has pulled ahead. $398 to $150. So if you want to see Caleb, you might want to get those donations in. We also have a choice of Toad for Battle Toads. Currently, Pimple is in the lead, but Zitz or Rash could come in behind if that's your choice. Looks like for Sylvan Tail, we actually have an incentive to play with the English patch instead of the um, non-English, I suppose. Looks like we're about $600 away from meeting that incentive. So get your donations in. Now, I did watch the Dying Light run, and that, honestly, I was scared. So I don't know how well I'm going to do watching Resident Evil, to be completely honest. Um, if I sound scared, it's because I'm scared. <laughs> I know Undertale was last year, but it's safe to say that I'm going to have a bad time. We have a $50 donation from Evan S. Shout out to the runners, the staff, the crowd, donors, and everyone else involved. This is my favorite charity event, and I wish everyone the best. Let's beat cancer together. $150 from Huff and Stuff 97. Keep up the amazing work. Always great to see everyone come together. Also, P.S., P.S., P.S. $20 from Jammy Girl. Carcinogen and Bakba are my favorite runners of all time. I am not very well off. In fact, I'm in between jobs at the moment, but I will happily double my modest donation if Carcinogen calls Jack Daddy, just like the rest of the cast do. I must say, I do see a lot of cat spam in chat, and it's pretty great, honestly. <laughs> I'm super excited to see how this run goes. I've only seen bits and pieces of it, but I'm sure it's going to be a great speed run from one of the best horror game speedrunners. Let me see your hype for this coming run. I'm sorry, I said let me see your hype for this run. <laughs> That's more like it.
We have a do donation from Rio242 of $333.33. Hyped for the Resident Evil block, if only we had evil corporations in our world capable of making super healing goop. But I guess donations are what's going to make cures reality, huh? Have $333.33 because it's a solid number made of threes. Donation goes to saving Roast because otherwise he dies a martyr. Now, I know Prolix did mention these uh, prizes available, but currently we do have several prizes that are determined by your donations. As you know, the eighth generation console bundle is yours. Well, <laughs> you're entered for it. If you donate $150 over the course of the marathon, $30 for LLK's AGDQ 2018 sketchbook, that Octopus AGDQ banner is ending soon, um, it's a beautiful banner. It has Octodad on it. And if you donate $50, you're entered to win. We have $40 for an entry-level gaming PC. And $10 for a Sades D-Power gaming headset. So if you can't manage much, you might still be able to enter in for that headset and personally, I might do it myself. <laughs> So while we're preparing for this totally awesome run, um, what's everyone's favorite run of the marathon so far? I, as you may, some of you may know, I was there for Rayman earlier and that was amazing. Every run I've watched so far has been totally awesome and I'm just totally amazed, I keep saying totally, with the number of runs this year that are just top tier. Um, <laughs> All I see is cat spam. Mr. Shasta's run was really, really good. My favorite run is this one, April. <laughs> Metroid Prime 3, that was really good. The rack run was really good. The Rixer did an amazing job. Um, there is a whole lot that I've just been super impressed with this entire marathon. And I dare say that this run will probably also be one of them.
So it's been several minutes, and I've just now realized that all of those cat emotes are Carsey's. Um. <laughs> it all makes a lot more sense now. We have a $20 donation from John37. Thanks to my wife, Christina, for letting me monopolize the TV for two weeks a year to watch these events. Put this to announcer's choice. That's going to be linked to the past sword list, if that's not already met. We have $150 from Killy43. My sister was diagnosed with cancer a little over a year ago, and we are still battling it. Thank you to everyone at GDQ for running this event and raising awareness. Put this money towards Reader's Choice. And we have $200 from Ginger J1. Thank you so much for your generosity. Lost a lot of family and friends to cancer. Hopefully this helps find a cure. While I'm at it, got to vote for my man's Lonk as the file name for the OOT run. I didn't know that was actually an option. And I'm really, really pumped for it. Oh, I'd also like to point out that there does look to be an open incentive for a bonus game, if I saw correctly. Looks like we have... Never mind, I did not see correctly. <laughs> we have an anonymous $300 donation with no comment. Thank you so, so much for your generosity. All of this money is going towards the Prevent Cancer Foundation, and every little bit helps. We have $5 from Omega Omni One. Hey, Carsey Omega here. I believe that you can do this run. Give Evie a catastrophic end. You have a strong possibility to beat her fast at all the bosses. You won't lose your Carsey way. $20 from Tim Simpson. Had to donate during my favorite game from this last year. Started speedrunning his game when it came out and learned everything from Carcinogen. Welcome to the family, son. Let's do this, Carcinogen. And $40 from Greek Prune. Loving this year's AGDQ. Thank you to all the runners and organizers. I try to donate every year. Today is my dad's birthday and he beat bladder cancer. Here is to another year cancer-free for Pops, and let's donate to for fight for a cancer-free future. Happy birthday, Dad Prune. My birthday is actually on Friday, and I'll be hosting the Jack and Daxter run. We have $50 from Fox231. My boyfriend's mom is currently in the hospital with bone cancer, so this is so no one else has to feel our pain. We have a... $25 donation from Holy and Mama B. Hey, Carsey, Holy and Mama B here checking into your run. I grew up watching my mom play Resident Evil, and she's the reason that I play and love video games myself. I'll never forget the year you ran Nemesis Percent, and my mom screamed in rage at how easily you beat Nemesis. Good times. Good times. Slaughter this run and make her mad again. 10 goes to Master Mode Breath of the Wild and 15 to naming the horse Beefaroni because holy heck, that's genius. I'd like to tell you about our very good sponsor, Tokyo Attack. They specialize in bringing rare import Japanese games to conventions and events all across the country, including this one. They feature titles such as You Beat My My, Project Diva Future Tone, and much, much more. 
They host America's largest collection of independently owned import arcade cabinets. They do sponsor our arcade along with MAGFest and the arcade is honestly wonderful. I wish that there was just an arcade stream so you could see how amazing it is. They have a couple Jubeat machines. It's a wonderful thing. They have over 70 import Japanese arcade cabinets. Granted, they didn't bring all 70 to the event, but they do go to 36 events a year, and you can see them at their website, www.tokyoattack.net. All right, we actually do have a new incentive that just came in for a bonus game. Now this bonus game has uh, seen a lot of controversy. It is Superman 64. We're <laughs> mingled groans somewhere in the distance. Proton John is crying. Um, <laughs> we would replace setup block two with a Superman 64 any percent run. So if you want to see that in the marathon like I do, please, please, please put your donation towards that. We have $50 from the Federal Bureau of Illegal Cats. Carsey is one of my favorite speedrunners and I'm overjoyed to see him run Resident Evil 7 today on my birthday. Also, I'm happy to donate to such a great cause. Good luck, Carsey, and everyone spam that cat. We have an anonymous $150 donation. Dad was donated, or died, whoa. Let me start that over. Dad was diagnosed with brain cancer two weeks ago. Keep donating to the cause. Definitely, um, cancer does affect so many people. And I really do appreciate every single donation that comes in, whether it's $5 to $500. It all makes a difference. We have an anonymous $12 donation. GDQ is an amazing cause, and it is great to see so many people coming together to make a negative a positive. Good luck in the run, Carsey, and good luck, Bakba and Wuss in the race later. We have $100 from Galen Firestone. This has been a great GDQ so far, and I'm looking forward to attending my first in person this summer. Best of luck to Carsey in the, his run. He's always a blast. This donation is in honor of Spacebird77, a friend of mine and cancer survivor, and in honor of my cousin Peter, who passed away from complications due to a brain tumor nine years ago. Thank you, GDQ staff, runners, and donators for all you do to make cancer a thing of the past. And we have $150 from Meister Tibbs. I've always wanted to donate to this wonderful cause. Don't think I'll be able to watch most of it due to family and work, but I admire the work all of you do. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for your very generous donation. We have $150 from Will Jackson. Hey, GDQ, longtime watcher. I just lost my father back in November at the young age of 55 due to a late diagnosis of colon cancer. So I hope this will help keep people from having to go through this. Super excited about the Breath of the Wild and Bloodborne runs. Put this towards the announcer's choice. We have an anonymous $200 donation. Thanks to all the anonymous technicians handling the video stream. As another technician who handles video capture and recording at conferences, 
I know it is a lot of work. Our tech team is working very hard right now to bring that run to you. And I think we're actually just about ready here. It'll be just another minute or two. We have $15 from an anonymous donor. Shout out to Carsey, my one and only sub. Good luck on the run, save those illegal cats. This donation is in memory of my grandpa and girlfriend's brother, who would have been 29 today, if not for brain cancer. We have $50 from Oasis. Welcome to the family, son. Good luck to Carsey as he evades the creepy Baker family. Shout out to the mods. Those guys are pretty awesome. I'll donate $25 more if Carsey hits me up with a thought you could just slip by before dinner was done. And it does look like we're ready to throw it over to Carcinogen for Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, New Game Madhouse. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Carcinogen, and with me is Succinct and Punchy. Hello. Maxi Lobes and Bakba Soup. Hey. And, uh, this is Resident Evil 7 New Game Madhouse. Okay. Uh, ready on time? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Got him. The text box, man. It gets you. Hey, right. Baby. So this is uh, this is every Resident Evil 7 runner's favorite part of the video oh, game. By the way, uh, we get to uh, watch this nice long intro. I cannot. So as we get started, we should explain what the category actually is. It's new game madhouse. The most popular category to run in this game is new game plus, where you use all the bonus items. This is not that because the bonus items are overpowered. So the run is much more challenging and difficult, and it's being played on the hardest difficulty setting where most things just kill you in two hits. So you have to use a lot more crafting items and be much more craftier with how you use them and manage your resources much more effectively in order to get through the run. Basically, it's harder in every way. Right. So it's like we're easy in normal mode. Like even on new game settings are a little shootier. You were right. Madhouse is a little more like uh, classic Resident Evil games. Where things are a lot, uh, a lot tighter on resources, and you actually have to know the enemy mechanics fairly well in order to be able to progress through the game. Yeah, one wrong move on Madhouse, and it could be over very quickly. It's very punishing. Yeah. So, aside from that, there's also uh, limited saves. So we're going to be uh, using uh, good old trusty increments hey, it's, uh, for some of the uh, harder sections right. of the game. Oh yeah, there it is. It is a must to save yeah. during this. Madhouse yeah, no, can be good. just insane, especially new game. Mm -hmm. Madhouse has less auto saves than like easy normal as well. There's a stretch of game where there's actually literally a 40 minute gap between two auto saves. <laughs> yeah. So a death right. at any point but between those two is like somehow. no, very no. Yeah, it's true. This is a uh, this is a total monka s category. Mm -hmm. A total Monka S category. No pressure. Pretty chill for the first 10 minutes, though. It'll be fun. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you know. Curse, curse you sweat. <laughs> right, so driving up here. Um, I suppose the first thing I should talk about is uh, movement speed. Um, Ethan and Mia have uh, multiple movement speeds uh, based on certain parts in the game script. Uh, when you're running outdoors, generally you're going to run at the fastest speed. But uh, during certain uh, cutscenes or pseudo cutscenes, as it were, the game will just like sort of artificially slow down Ethan. It's a lot of strafing and beep. Yeah, so this opener here, it can be very deceiving in terms of time loss and time gain. You can actually save a lot of time if you do movement perfect here, which he's doing very well so far, but a lot of 
the beginner runners will lose a lot of time just to the intro and they won't even realize. Right. So right here is uh, one such example, you know, just like kind of slowing down to a crawl here. Every so often you can get like a speed boost here, which actually saves about a few seconds and you can actually see like Jack despawning around the corner, which is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. It's very rare that you actually get that though. Yeah. We don't know of a method to cause it on purpose and yeah. it's colloquially known as daddy boost. Daddy boost. <laughs> Right, I'm supposed to be supposed to be calling him Daddy, right? Is that oh, the, yeah. is that, is that the had, deal? Is that one donations was, for Daddy. Is that what I was told? So uh, one other thing in order to increase the stakes a little bit, I'm going to be donating $10 to PCF for every time I get hit. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll try and count that up for you. <laughs> Please and thank you. I'm taking notes, Carsey. Ooh, Done thanks. deal. Okay, so here's another speed boost here after this checkpoint. Um, the game slowed us down as soon as we got into the house, but uh, if we do a quick reset there, then it actually changes Ethan's movement speed back to normal. This can be done maybe once or twice throughout Madhouse. It can, be, it can definitely be done more in the uh, easier categories where there's a lot more checkpoints. But uh, for now, it's just those two sections. And, gonna, uh, and it really doesn't look like he's moving that much faster when he does it, but like it's a quite a sizable difference. Yeah, it's like several yeah, seconds. On, you'll know. Especially after the course of like a few minutes, that movement speed really up. saves yeah, yeah, a lot of yeah. time. And you do that quite often in uh, easy mode. Does yeah. it, like yeah, yeah. every this 10 minutes you're doing more. This doesn't, this doesn't look like it, but I'm actually about to save like, I'm about to save like 10 seconds over, over, the, over the course of this whole area leading up to the end of the first Nia fight. So coming through here is uh, another uh, is another minor skip. Um, the body of Andre is uh, floating around in the water here. It's gonna take a minute for me to round the corner. Just a nice slog through this Louisiana basement, which really isn't supposed to exist at all. I mean, it's kind of below sea level and stuff. There are no basements in Louisiana. There shouldn't be basements in Louisiana, but lo and behold, there's a basement in Louisiana. Any who's in. So we're gonna crawl under here, and in order to skip Andre, we're just gonna face this wall over here, strafe. And yeah. uh, Andre popped up behind us. Uh, actually, he didn't pop up at all. Interesting. Okay. Normally, a, like a corpse pops out of the water, and it's like, ooh, big spooky. But yeah, if yeah, you just face the wall, ghost. the spook never happens, so you and, save time. Yeah, and it right. doesn't really matter which wall you face, as long as you're facing one of them, it works. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a throwback. He sort of looks like a zombie, so it's a mini throwback at the start of the game. All right, so um, with this cutscene, uh, it's going to basically initiate about like a five, six minute walking, talking sequence. So um, I'd like to read some donations. Now's a, now's a good time to read some donations. Great, I have a $350 donation of one blue light. It's GDQ time. I love starting the new year with watching such a great marathon. Thank you so much, GDQ, for what you do. It's unbelievable that a gaming community has come together to raise such an unbelievable amount of money for Prevent Cancer. Here's to many years to come, GDQ and all speedrunners alike. Sincerely, Blue Light. P.S. From myself and everyone in my unit, shoutouts from the U.S. Marine Corps. Semper Fi. Nice. Thank you so much. So one other thing really quick is uh, menuing. Um, I guess, Punchy, if you want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, OK, sure. Resident Evil 7 key speedrunning minor optimization number one, menuing. The menu has like a hard memory for where your cursor is always. It persists through cutscenes. It persists through room transitions. It persists through character changes. The cursor always knows where you were last. So consequently, at very minor points in this run where you have like time to burn, animations to wait through, whatever, you always menu to where the cursor will need to be in advance. And very often you can like menu for a menu that you'll need minutes later. So he's positioned currently on uh, his bolt cutters, specifically the second slot. Like runners do this differently, so I, I don't really know what's mm -hmm. in his head, but he has it set up to how he needs it to be currently. So he's doing that now because otherwise there's just sort of nothing going on. So you may as well do that now. Clean your inventory of a junk item that you start with because otherwise it takes up space later in the item box and you don't, you don't want no, that stuff. That wasn't me. So now it's situated I in the right it. slot. Okay, and I was just, I was just, I was just messing around, but then <laughs> I realized that. Messing with my point. <laughs> <laughs> don't do me like this. I, I, I don't know. I feel, it, feels, it feels better right there. 
you know? <laughs> Maybe maybe it, just maybe leave it in one place. Yeah, maybe maybe it needs yeah. to be there. I think the key is going to pop up right there. You're, you know, the curse is not even over it now. You're bothering me. <laughs> Change it. <laughs> Thank you. Good. There Optimal. we go. All good. So that seems like a really minor thing, and it is. But you have to do that so much through the course of this run that if you remember to do it every time, so that every situation you're just always over the item you need to mash it out, mm -hmm. you'll right. save. Lots of seconds. Yeah, over the course you of have the to run. count. A lot. You have to count multiple item spaces ahead in order to be able to make sure that the cursor is going to be where the key item is going to land. And Resident Evil you pick 7 it up in your inventory. And Resident Evil 7 is a game of those minor optimizations. At the top level, seconds separate runners between the top oh, places. Yeah. So that but kind of is, thing makes the difference. This is actually like at least 30 seconds of optimizations right here, just like the menuing on its own. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Hi, Grandma. Here's a neat trick. You see, Mia's actually uh, How many laps gonna go do? sit down on the couch. So when she sits over here, we're just gonna keep looking at this. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This I'm is sorry. A, this is about the specific <laughs> distance that you need to be in order to trigger that, while being yeah. as close as possible to run into when it happens. Because if you're too close, it doesn't happen. If you're too far away, obviously you waste time walking away. So like, that's about the right distance. And here is another. Trigger hunt. The early game is mostly obtuse trigger hunting to make it mm -hmm. stuff yeah, happen. All as soon as you're in the bathroom, immediately flip and walk out like that. You'll yep. hear the knock on the door, and that's your uh, that's your sign to open it. Why does the bathroom is that? Why is that like the thing that triggers the thing? Don't we don't know. It just is. That works. So do it. Boo. <laughs> oh, that breath though. Yikes. She is really excited for the spooky block. Okay, so this section comes with a lot of, uh, you know, excitement and spooky music and what have you. But, uh, you kind of don't actually really need to do anything during this to be as fast as possible. You just in fact, to you run into her. You want to run, run into, into her, her yeah. Because this, uh, this like animation of you getting stabbed doesn't actually end until it's at a specific point in the hallway. Which means if you run into her, it will like warp speed walk you towards the point where the game wants you to be. Yep. So basically. Uh, Pretty much, no matter whether you mash buttons or not, you're always going to be at the same level of damage at the end of this on Madhouse. You're always going to be at 1 HP. This puts you mm -hmm. into the, the 1 HP death hit state as well, which is a state that I call stagger that I don't think anyone else does, so I'm forcing my terminology now. Sure. But you run slower when you're in this state. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So consequently, we need to heal as quickly as possible. But uh, another one of these obtuse triggers, as Punchy mentioned, just let her bang her head against the wall yeah, one this more is, time. This is like time-based and slightly position-based. Yeah. The mechanics of this are really fuzzy and not Oh, well yeah. I sure, I, sure, I, I assure you the entire game is not like this. Everyone does this differently. I stand yeah, slightly see, I've, back I've never seen this. Okay, so I this hit that door, and then I go in here and open that, take that, use that, guard cancel the heal, and... She, she should does, get up right here. He does all of yeah. that. There we and go. And to get it all done in time for the trigger to uh, time out. Like so that's very that. important in optimal runs. All right, so this fight over here, Mia has to be hit around 12 times. Sometimes you can double hit. If you unlock your frame rate, there's a little bit of a glitch. Uh, if you want to explain that, Punchy. Okay, so when you have a very high frame rate in this game, you can kind of get stuck inside of enemies, and it causes melee weapons to hit multiple times. And if you get stuck in it, like, a lot, it can happen very rapidly, like, really quickly. You can hit, like, six or seven times in a row. But it's a two-way street, which means later on in the game, enemies Please. can get stuck Thank inside of you yeah, and hit nice. you multiple times, which will right, murder right. you. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> what, I did, what I did there just now, um, I uh, guarded on that last grab. And doing so actually uh, skips the part where Ethan punches her a couple of times before finally uh, ending it in you know, this rather gruesome fashion. Uh, saves about a couple of seconds to do it that way. Another, yeah, another, another trigger here with the telephone. Yeah. Ankle ourselves as a shadow here and uh, spin and. So split. if he gets too close to that, it won't ring. So you have to be the perfect distance away and then move as soon as it starts ringing or right before it starts to ring if you're familiar it's, with the it game. It takes about nine seconds. So coming up here is another... Uh... Oh, yeah, the axe is where you end that fight as well, so where you yeah. end the Mia fight is important. Yeah, mm. Another retry to move a little faster, better position. Again, non-trivial time save from that. Doesn't look it, really is. Yeah, yeah. but this is also, it's also very important that I uh, hit that reset there because it's actually beneficial for the Mia fight, which is easily one of the most, uh, one of the most brutal sections in the Madhouse run. Oh, it's, yeah. It's one of the harder fights. So that's Resident Evil 7 speedrun minor optimization number two. 
is positioning yourself to use items directly where the game wants you to use them because it will pull you in to like use an item in an animation, yeah. but the moving into it is slightly slow, so if you're already where the game wants you to be, you save time. Yeah, like the pliers on the chain there. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. It's, it's another very subtle thing that adds up to quite a lot over the course of a whole run. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of those in this run, too. And it's also, it's never directly in front of an object, either. You, you have to sort of memorize a distance sometimes. You never want to hear it from exactly, like, far away as possible every time. Sometimes mm -hmm. you want to be a bit closer, sometimes you want to be a bit further away. It's I'm going to uh, try to divert my eyes from what's about to happen just a little bit. Uh-oh. You seem a little stuck there. Just a tad. S sort of a nod to Evil it Dead It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter right? whether I try to pull the screwdriver out or not. What's going to happen is, uh... Oh, I can't... I actually can't look away. Ugh. Nope. No, uh, you didn't oh. need that anyways. It's true. I mean, she cut, she cut off my hand. I'll run faster without it. It's less weight, right? Of course. Yeah. I'm impressed with how far she threw you. Optimization number three. No hand. Tie it behind my back. You can pick up the hand as well. There's no point. You just waste inventory space. But yeah, it's possible. It appears later. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's not really, not really a waste oh. of inventory space. If, well, someone will pick it up for you anyway. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to do a quick uh, safety save over here. Um, yeah, this is this is necessary. This yeah, this is, yeah, this is madhouse a, is brutal. This is this is a nasty fight. This would have if I if I if I die coming up here, then it would put me at the uh, it would put me at the uh, cutscene where Mia chops off my hand again, and that would yeah. effectively waste like another minute or two. So, uh, I also unironically believe this is like the hardest or second hardest fight in the entire game. Yeah, this is it, very it precise. Really is. Gonna heal here really quick, and uh, yeah. So another example of axe clipping, but. I'll uh, try to commentate this as best I can while this is happening. Just stay a little far away from this, and we're going to clip into Mio's model here, and... Oh, okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. I can do this. Got it a couple of times. Oh, hello. Where are you going? Nope! Oh, shoot! Uh, oh. Good blocks. Oh, oh, this is actually really bad. Okay. The heal? Okay, you got this. Yeah, you're in a good position now. Recompose. So something Watch interesting here, you can actually just make her chainsaw the door down and just shoot her in the head repeatedly in a nice position. And it's, mm. it's very optimal to get a lot of damage in very quickly. You can kind of poke your head through the door while she's like chainsawing it down. Right. And this then is, pop her in the head a this lot. is effectively my backup strat here. Like so. Yeah. Thankfully, there's a good backup. Excuse me? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Good thing I got two bullets left. All right. What? That was not supposed to happen. You're not dead. Oh, Almost God. dead. Oh, this is really, really, really bad. This is about to... You're good, you're good. Don't if panic. I don't die, if I don't die, this is really clutch. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Focus. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the run killer. Where's she gonna pop out? Where is she? Behind you. Yeah. Behind there she is. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that happened. Yeah, Apparently so. It's you quite it. surprising. You got this. All right. Nice. Oh, that's it. That's that it. Good. Oh wow. <laughs> got a clap for that. Very Com clutch, Carsey. Composure, Carsey. <laughs> How dare you? Oh boy. Why? <laughs> Why do you do this? Okay. So after this, uh, after this quick save, what I'm going to do is uh, this checkpoint here. I'm going to set the frame rate down to 60 because doing so will also disable the. Uh, the uh, axe clipping glitch so that enemies can't do it to me later in the run. Yeah. Especially the four-legged molded because they just launch right into you, mm. often killing you in one hit on Madhouse. Best part. So that's, uh, okay, so. Yeah, as I explained, that multi-hit melee glitch is a two-way street. Enemies can do it to you. So like once your use of it is, is over, turn it off. Welcome to the family. Bonk. Welcome to the family, GDQ chat. All right, so with this uh, next cutscene here, it's a good time to read some more donations. Okay. We have $500 from Fragalax. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Maxi, on the couch. It was foretold by Gyromancy that you would be there. Ooh, good yeah. luck on the Madhouse run. Resident Evil rules. Louisiana guy donates $10. Louisiana in here, you are correct. There are no basements in Louisiana. Yes, validated. Here is $5 for knowing your Louisiana facts. I'll donate five more for another Louisiana fact. I think I might have one. I might have one. 
I might have one later in the run. Ooh, saving it. Saving it. Saving it for when it is relevant. Educate me. I'm British. I don't know anything. Uh, I'm, I await this eagerly. We got any more? Oh, yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's keep them coming. Sorry about that. We this have 150 from Jin Lord 9127 Just had to donate during my favorite streamer. Thanks all for your hard work and good luck, Carsey Carsey. Thank you. We have $500 from Snitch. Thank you so much for that huge donation. Stayed up crazy late to make sure I was able to at least see the start of and donate during Carsey's run. Thank you so much. Excited to see you able to participate at GDQ again, but sadly I'll probably have to watch the VOD as it's 4 a.m. here in the UK, but I'm sure you'll nail it anyway. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, sorry, can I, can I increase the host volume a little more? I'm, I'm sorry. Host volume, please. Thanks. Oh. We have $250 from an anonymous donor. My grandmother died of cancer a while back, so I'm always glad to donate to this cause. Looking forward to TMR running Battletoads and, of course, the LTTP rando. Donation goes towards that sweet, sweet swordless mode goal. By the way, he's uh, actually cutting Ethan's cheek. In case you were wondering, you actually see the scar on Ethan's cheek whenever you're controlling Mia later. It's, he's, he's not like shoving the knife in his mouth or anything like that. I'll call him daddy before he leaves. The extra donation, no. I hate you, daddy! <laughs> All right, so. You can see Grandma's is having a great time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Grandma's, having, grandma's having a blast. She's uh, enjoying the spectator sport here. So anyways, I'm going to do a uh, very, very safe strat here because uh, the riskier strat, while it does save like 20 seconds, it's uh, really hard. Yeah, and you can lose mm. a lot of time getting your leg cut off. This, this well, is not, probably well, it's, not even, it's not even the, get the leg getting cut off nearly as much as he just grabs you repeatedly and you can't block, <laughs> block them all the time. Uh, yeah, that too. So yeah. he's supposed to come into the dining room here and he'll home in it on the always, yeah. dining room table. It always Jack's prioritizes his, the dining table over you. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got his priorities straight. Now he's going to bust out of this wall here. Yeah, heavily scripted game. And then we're going to go this way and close the door right here. See you later. Good hustle. I'm actually really surprised I nailed my mouse sensitivity. Grab this. You get the key. And while you're up here, you touch this door as well because you need to do this for a later trigger. It's like, why would you just run up and touch the door if you don't have the key? It has Let's to see, be is done. he running this way? Okay, that's good. This is optimal for this route. So grab this, grab this, combine that, slot four. Yeah, the well pre-menuing like we talked about earlier. He grabbed a grenade launcher round and a destable. I don't remember what that item is it's called. A, it's the uh, stripping agent. That mm. one, yes. Yeah, it it so breaks an item down into its constituent crafting components. So he got strong chemical fluid back from it, which he will then use to craft something more immediately relevant. Mm. Right. You need so a lot of this, ammo for this. Right, enhanced ammo. I'll be crafting enhanced ammo in a second. Ammo plus strong chemical fluid equals enhanced right. ammo that's like three times as powerful, and it's insanely useful. Go out, go in. Telephone trigger. Triggers the phone call. Not every phone call needs to be taken, but this one does. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? What the fuck are you? Language. So he touched the door earlier because it triggers the cop earlier, I believe? Yes, it does. Yeah. It's one of the things that you have to do before that will trigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you guys thought RE7 was banned from GDQ. Mm. <laughs> Item that was gunpowder. Gunpowder, yes. It's really hard to see before he picks it up. Okay, so we're gonna strafe this way it. and that's the one. All right, so the reason and he went in there the was cop. to trigger the cop. You can't be looking at the window. Hey, you gotta help me. Right, so as as it was mentioned by Punchy earlier, you have to touch that door, then go into the kitchen, and there's like a little there's like a little square yeah. in front of the refrigerator. You have to walk on top of it and then walk over, walk out the door in order to trigger the appearance of the police officer. It's weirdly hmm. specific. Yeah. yeah, and you actually did it very well. That was like the perfect there frame almost. To kill me. If you do it like really well and you're looking at the floor, you can, you can see the moment where the, like, the lighting starts to shine in through the door yeah, as he the spawns flashlight. in. Yeah. 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 Several missing persons call. Also world's worst police officer. That an outsider like yourself may not be involved. Right. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now that's more like you got one more donation? Absolutely. We have $50 from Carson Druitt. 
I lost my dad to stomach and colon cancer seven years ago, and life hasn't ever been the same, but at least I have you guys. I love what you're doing. Keep up the great work. I love you, Carsey. Keep kicking RE7's butt, and I'll keep making those cat emotes for you. Donation goes to Carsey's Choice. Huge shout out to Carson Druitt. He is, uh, he is an amazing, amazing artist. Get some Carsey hype in the chat. Oh, yeah. That's all you're going to get. Now go, garage, now. Also responsible for probably half the cat spam in chat right about now. What am I going to do with a There is a lot of cat spam. Those cats are perfectly legal, Carsey. Sure. <laughs> sure they are. Sure they are, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, coming up, Jack. Hey, boss fight. Woo! Hey, we got to get the fuck out of here. Now, first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. No, you know. Me. What about Just, uh, you, you know, taking a, take a midnight stroll. All right. And tell me. Answer my question. Not looking for my dead wife or anything. Oh, oh Deputy Chevelle. Oh. No. It's cool. He had a he only had a half a brain anyway. <laughs> so, we're so we're gonna grab Got this lock pick over here and uh, grab this med while he's busy kicking the body over here. So this is a madhouse specific thing. The car key for the car is locked inside of that drawer. You can't just pick it up. It's this on, is actually it's, pretty good so far. Yeah, it's, it's going, going really well. Try and get out of the car. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. <laughs> no, actually, let's get in, please. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. He's he driving. He's, he's, he's driving. Going. Okay. What the? Oh. Excuse me. Stop getting back. In. He's driving. I better. I better. <laughs> I better back off. I, that's. He's throwing and he, elbows. He clearly wants to be the driver. And right here, Carsey's going to be using quick shots. Um, Did anyone count how much damage I took so far? That was, oh yeah. <laughs> we were supposed to do that. That was like two hits? That was two hits. What about for Mia? I, I don't know. We'll just say five. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> yes. Now look this is based on a timer, wow. the second phase, so he just hides in a corner. He doesn't want to talk. Yeah, and he didn't Call even say away, the swear word. HDK is safe, Jack. And then the car explodes and that's it. That's the boss fight. How did he get under there? I don't know. His hand's kind of clipping through the floor. Good fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, right. the elbows, though. <laughs> <laughs> he clearly wanted that oh, driver's seat. Yeah. Forgot to do my menuing. Oops. Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see some wonderful. Spectacular. So there's another there. antique coin to the yeah. left right here. And something neat, he'll actually use the uh, the back of the portrait to un unscrew, <laughs> unscrew the, the ox right here, the ox statue. And then he'll move the shelf and then pick up the ox because uh, it takes a little while for it to actually unscrew. It yeah. stays unscrewing while once like pressed for the first time mm -hmm. so you can then do other things so it's more optimal to do them both at the same time. Mm -hmm. Also, since the wall broke earlier, it we can stays just broken. Pass right through here. So it's yeah. faster to walk that way. This run is jam packed with really small time saves that add up. This run is also jam packed with. That's never happened before <laughs> so far. <laughs> it's just that kind of game. Mm -hmm. It is that kind of game. So this so. is a key divergence from uh, easy difficulties as well. The scorpion key is in the cages that require the antique coins that are technically optional to get. This key is not optional, like, at all, I think, in easy mode, or at least it's faster to just get it, but yeah. you can just so, buy it straight away from... I'm gonna walk over to these rafters here, spawn yes, the four-legged bolted. So which it lets you take a completely a different route yeah. to the game. And he despawned a molded by doing that, by the way. A four-legged molded yeah, as well. Yeah, the four, four-legged moldeds are probably the most lethal enemy in this game. Mm. Mm. It's, it's much better to do that, yeah. because that guy in particular is a complete pain. Yeah, they have this weird jumping attack where they swipe you, but its swipe while it's in midair can actually hit you yeah. twice. It, it does a lot of damage. Mm. Similar to Lickers in Resident Evil 2. Right. Could just you die. Kill you very quickly. So, basement, basement section. <laughs> is uh, also quite scary. Grab these.
bullets here. We got a health. That's good. I'm probably going to go, go ahead and use it, actually. Item spawns from boxes like that are kind of pseudo-random-ish. Like, it generates based on what you have, what you don't have, and, like, what Please your health oh, is as well. Oh, God! Oh, punch. shoot! He sucker punched me. I freaking hate that yeah, attack. That's very, very unfortunate. Are you serious? He cut the follow up too. Wow. He got a follow up and it put me back in critical. Oh my god. This is this is actually really scary. Is he gonna? Don't do it. Okay, come on. I heard the wind shatter behind you as that happened. He's knocking on the door. He's oh, mad. Oh man. <laughs> New game Madhouse, folks. Holy moly. Yeah, enemies, when they spawn in, can do something called a sucker punch, where basically they hit you as pretty much as soon as they possibly can before you would have any time whatsoever to block it. Mm. Yes. And because everything does, like, a complete crap ton of damage on Madhouse, it can kill you and really that, fast. That particular one is one of the worst in the early game of Resident Evil 7. That guy, if you don't get by him, he can just whip your butt. Yeah, he's forcing me to pick up this uh, heal over here. Convenient heal. A very convenient heal, I agree. Um, but why why yeah, did it cause... Another sorry, nice I, need to, I need to check something really quick. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so it is It is on 60. I have no idea why that actually did as much damage as it did whenever he sucker punched me. Because I shouldn't have been... I shouldn't have been in danger after healing once. Anyway, jack two. Spartan kick. Yeah, yeah. I just had to, had to make sure of that. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to strafe over here and uh, kick this back. Okay, it landed. Okay, one, two, three... Four. Then it becomes vulnerable. Slash it for free damage. Should hopefully end the first phase of the fight near the hedge trimmer things, whatever they are. He went straight to the. He went straight for yeah, it. That's, that's really great. Good. Yeah, that's good. optimal. Very good. Now, mano a mano chainsaw fight. Classic fight here. Yeah. Still gonna make use of the the bags though. And the enhanced handgun ammo as well to make this easier to hit. Another Evil Dead throwback as well. Yeah. Him saying groovy. You're using the chainsaw on him. Got your hands oh, cut bad. off. The chainsaws like kind of bounce off each other to some extent, which makes it a lot easier because otherwise those his chainsaws can totally just murder you instantly. Very nice. He might, maybe he'll run out of like <laughs> chainsaw juice slightly before. I think he's on red. Yes. Ah, it's fine. I'm gonna kick him again. Oh, that's the IK! Oh god! <laughs> oh, I just narrowly avoided gut. I just narrowly avoided an instant kill. <sighs> Where is he? There you are. <laughs> this is giving me a heart attack. Please stop. And he's done. And thank this. nice. Oh, thank God. Very nice. That can be a scary fight in this run, but it went very well. You can totally just die instantly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a that was heavy kind of a kind of a pincer attack that he does. Mm. And, that was that uh, was instant. really, really, really scary. You did it, though. It's good. Yeah. First try. Unfortunately, after you use the chainsaw on this door, it's just done. It's this broken. has been a crazy run so far. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn. Of course not. You didn't think you'd be able to keep that, right? <laughs> I wish. Ridiculous. Yeah, right? Okay, that's good. Game, do you think this is, think this is Resident Evil? No. I'm at a bit of a deficit on regular handgun bullets, though. It's kind of bad, actually. You have to route on the fly, depending on what you get from random drops and stuff, so you have to keep a lot of stuff in mind while you're doing this. It's not a static route whatsoever. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of improvisation. Yeah. I'm just going to detour here for these handgun bullets that I absolutely never pick up. Convenient, though. That's never Again. happened before. Some placements are static, some are not. Yes. So it's important to know which is which. That bathtub always has those bullets. Mm -hmm. Kelsey knows very well where stuff is. I don't. I didn't know those were there at all. Should be able to use the... Okay, I did. Another lockpick usage. Get some more bullets. And I believe that also despawns are molded on the other side of the door. Yeah, he, yes, yeah. It does. he can he be a right pain there. if you don't despawn them. Yeah. I mean, it's just... He's just right there. I mean, you know, if you're gonna, you're hey, gonna lock singing? the door. Oh yeah. That's yeah, just grandma. Oh, what a nice hum. Still out of it. <laughs> Went way too hard on dinner. So yeah, throughout the uh, throughout the rest of this, it's mostly just menuing, uh, grabbing the sh grabbing the uh, broken shotgun, grabbing the other emblems that we need to get out. Um, I actually think now's a good time to read some more donations. Absolutely, we have $10 from Joff the Hero. Yo, what up, Carcinogen? It's your number one fan from high school. Just want to say, 
Just want to say I'm proud of you for making it out of our hometown. And also, can I have your cat? No. Actually, on that <laughs> note, we have $30 from Old Hoovian. Carsey, this is the ATF. We have reports of illegal cats on the premises. The jig is up, and agents are currently swarming your house and taking any illegal cats you have in your possession. We have you, the so-called illegal cat kinpin, and his illegal cat.exe. Please, not my illegal cats. The jig is up. I worked, I worked really hard to get those. <laughs> we have $10 from Bane Reeker. Had to donate during one of the best Resident Evils in a long while, done by one of the best Resident Evil runners there is. My mother has survived leukemia for decades, so this event is special for me. Shout outs to the couch, love you guys. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Thank you, Bane. Hey, yeah, Bane. Thank you guys so much. We have $150 from Owen Wilson, 106. I look forward to GDQ every year, but this is the first time I've been fortunate enough to be able to donate. In the lovely memory of my grandfather, Richard, who we lost almost four right. years ago to multiple myeloma. Here's to hoping Les will go through what he did. All right, the trailer, so. instantly leave, triggers a phone call. Uh, there we go. Keep messing it up. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, excuse me? That's good. He repaired the broken shotgun there, as well as picking up the grenade launcher, which you just get for free in Madhouse because you need it. The broken shotgun, technically an optional item, functionally, not really, because if you repair it using the kit that you kind of just find in a bush, it's the best gun in the game, like bar none, really. It packs a huge punch, it can kill enemies in one hit if you stick the shot, but it's only got two bullets in the chamber, so if you miss, it can go bad really fast. Yeah, and a long you have to be reload close. time. Mm, yeah. As long as you have plenty of shoddy shells, it's, yeah. it's a great way. It has a long reload time, but this is mitigated somewhat by guard cancelling, which is the thing Carsey has been doing this entire time. I'm not sure if either of any of us have explained properly, but basically, during any animation, like, if you heal, Pretty much as soon as like the liquid hits your hand and the blood starts to clear up on the screen, if you guard it, it immediately cancels the back end of the animation. The same is true of reloading. As soon as you put the bullets in the gun and the UI shows that bullets are loaded, guarding will cancel the back end of the reload animation and you will have bullets to fire. Doing and this just, uh, saves frames. Yeah, mm. frames. Another technical thing that I mentioned earlier, the quick shots. Um, if you are not aiming and you shoot and then you aim and shoot, you can do that very, very quickly in succession, and you can get very quick shots off. Yeah, he'll be doing that with the pistol shortly, I believe. I just wanted to uh, point out that I also got rid of the knife, so this means that I need to bust boxes open with the pistol now. That's why I was uh, picking up the extra ammo. Like, I was kind of hoping to get oh, the boxes. Use it as a box opening tool. But I, uh, but unfortunately, I kept getting, I kept getting healing items. I kept getting pesky healing items. Okay, so if I fire here, nice. it blows up both oh, beehives. You have to position that quite exactly to kill both hives. I so believe... uh, the other one blocks you in like your movement, so you have to get both to move through yeah. cleanly. I believe my inventory is in the right spot here, so I should be able to use the uh, spider object instantly. Um, also over here, we have... Uh, <laughs> we have no the... Lip uh, sync. <laughs> Look at that lip sync. <laughs> the foul-mouthed matriarch of the Baker family. Now we, have to go, we have to go over this spiders. way. Yeah, the reason he went oh. to that door is to spawn the spiders on that door because we don't need yep. to go through it. Right. We need to go through this one. That makes me feel itchy. I hate spiders. I do too. So to go that way, I also picked up the stripping agent to uh, squeeze out one more flame round. That is exactly not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> So That's, a note on the that shadow. Was... A note on the shadow puzzles, actually. The position the item starts off in, like its rotation, is fixed. So you can memorize what direction to tilt it in to like get a quick shadow puzzle. Yeah, it's very consistent, too. So you know exactly how to move your mouse, and then just mm -hmm. press the action button. It can be like just half a second long. And yeah. he'll pick up the backpack here to increase his inventory space, so he has more leeway to hold all the key items and all the resources you need. You need a lot of resources to make it through Madhouse New Game. Whereas on like easier categories, you don't pick up any extra inventory space because it's pretty much you just have a bag full of keys and no ammo. Yeah, and you have a buzz right. saw for New Game Plus, so <laughs> yep. really you don't need anything else. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, so uh, Louisiana fact number two: uh, these are not these are in fact not the uh, red-headed centipedes that are indigenous to the area. I believe they are in fact Japanese mukate instead. It's true. <laughs> Very good. Wow. Holy moly. The facts. 
We got a strong, strong, strong bed there. That's actually uh, really good because what this means is uh, I can actually. Should I use this now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I will. You should. Yeah. Ooh. It's gonna help a lot. Yeah. I decided to just go ahead and use it because strong med may, may as well get more enhanced handgun bullets. If I get if I get a strong med there, I usually opt for the handgun bullets because it's not really going to make much of a difference. Mm. Yeah. But uh, of course, because I just used my separating agent. Was there another separating agent in the area before Marguerite, or no? Am I asking us? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to rack my brain doing that. Uh, doing some of that. <laughs> I'm teasing. Doing you, some of that uh, on the fly routing here. You mean the uh, room to the right before you drop down for it, right? Yeah. Y yeah. yeah I, no. 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 There is. There isn't. There is not. Oh, okay. There is not. Okay. So that. What that means is I need to actually. Uh, I need to actually blow off the spiders on this little locker over here in order to get another red chemical. Marguerite sees you here, no matter what you do. Got to close that door. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to raise the bridge without getting hit, but we're probably going to get yeah, hit because that yeah. b-ball closing in fast. Oh, Marguerite, please. Old woman yells at Cloud in background. There you go. You usually get knocked out of that animation like at least once. It's just oh, really excuse annoying. excuse you. Excuse me, indeed. Get a key. Get a key for more doors. It's Resident Evil. What are you expecting? So, yeah. This is, uh... Just gonna waste around there, grab that, so that I can uh, use it to combine into more grenade rounds before the uh, Marguerite fight proper. You cannot usually like, open those without clearing the spiders off the door, otherwise they hit yeah. you. And usually, damage. what I do, usually what I do is I uh, use the separating agent in order to get the uh, like I use it on a grenade in order to get a red chemical that way because it actually is faster than blowing off the. Uh, Pulling the spiders off the locker, but on the fly. Right. These are all the things you have to keep in mind. Anyway. So, Marguerite over here. Gonna ADS. Boom, boom. And then she's gonna go that way. Is this optimal? Yes, we good. Got it. Nice. Good fight. Nice Very good fight. Yeah. So she flinches. There's like multiple flinch animations she can make, and uh, that particular one was uh, good enough for me to the one squeeze cycle. a couple of shots in and get the one cycle. Yeah, there's a very small crack in the planks of wood that you can actually shoot her through, and that's what Carsey did exactly, and, and mm -hmm. he did it very well. No misses. Very clean. And there's another small time save. He opened the briefcase, and it, it takes about two seconds to fully open on itself, so now he's going to go touch this door to trigger another cutscene, and then check the briefcase now and on his way back. Up to trigger hunting, because you need to touch that door to trigger a later event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this game is like that somewhat. Okay. Yep. Without explanation, you do so many random things. It, it's just. Why is he doing this? You have to do it. This is also uh, coming up on another particularly brutal section, but as long as uh, as long as I stick to the script, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. The Marguerite fight. This can't be right. Eats up a lot of ammo, but uh, as long as you know where all of uh, Marguerite's iframes are, you should be able to. Uh, you should be able to. Proceed with a fairly right. sufficient ammo Take economy left over. If we hit all the triggers, this should. Yeah, okay. Yep. So here. Grenade ammo for more. days. Exactly. I need more handgun bullets. Hopefully, I get some in the crates. I'm hoping later versions of the route will allow me to uh, keep from having to get the ammo in the crates coming up, but. I feel like uh, getting them for the uh, shotgun shells, just in case, is probably a good idea. Anyways, I'm going to take a quick detour here and uh, make another safety save. Um, we can read one more donation, please. Absolutely. We have $50 from Cougar. Sitting here writing an obituary for my grandfather, who passed away two days ago at the age of 91. While unsure if it was the cause, he was suffering from lung cancer. Listening to everyone's story about cancer really shows how far cancer touches the lives of so many people. Thank you for everyone who is helping out with the streams, and much love to you all. Much love to you. Mm -hmm. very, sorry to, very sorry to hear. So, coming up here. Up, oh, uh, cancel that, cancel that ammo change. That's uh, another thing about guard canceling too, is if you, uh, 
preemptively press a button that you're not supposed to, you can actually cancel out. And believe me, I do a lot of preemptive button pressing. All Man, I'm getting, I'm all getting shotgun shells. All shotgun it's shells. Good. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it does more damage, but you gotta have something to open boxes with. Right. Yeah, true. So something neat here is that uh, Marguerite can spawn, but you don't get grab. Oh, oh shoot. Oh. Well, okay, this is actually really bad. This is going to change. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> this is actually going to change the actual course of the fight in general. This is actually pretty bad. Yeah, this is thinking on the fly for sure. This is one of the more freeform fights in the game as well. It takes place in the big house. Oh, Stuff kind of just happens and you have to play ball. Like this. All right, so she's going to... She should she should fall through now. Should. Should being the operative word. There we go. That's the one. And the key Good. to the, the... Like, her weak point is, like, the beehive on her... Lower the body. Barrier. It's, it's a beehive on a crotch. What do you want is, from me, okay? It is a... It is most certainly a part of human anatomy. <laughs> it's a horror game. <laughs> oh, like, I got God. nothing here, man. <laughs> Playing RE7 here. He's creating oh, healing shit. items on the fly as well, because this is going a bit, a wee bit pear-shaped. All right, all right. Good shot. This is uh, actually quite bad luck here I'm having. Usually, um, Composure. there are certain spawn points, or not spawn points, but there are certain points where she will come out of hiding, and you'll be able to shoot her down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she only spawns in a given spawn point if you're not looking at it. Like, if it's right. not on camera, she spawns behind you. Yeah. So, so Karsi ran forward, it. and she jumped down because you weren't looking at it looking. anymore. I was Just actually supposed her. to... This is actually supposed to go a lot cleaner. I'm actually supposed to shoot her while she's hiding up there, and... Uh, Get her to uh, yeah. get her to fall out, and then like basically mag dump her every every round. But I think after this is uh, after this she's gonna pop up. Oh, never mind. Spawned again. Interesting. You're keeping her uh, in the same place. Well, this, is, this is not too bad. It, it's certainly okay, going better. Cycle two, cycle two. When she backs off to roar like that. Oh, dude, she almost grabbed me again. Good dodge. Good dodge. Oh. The stagger. He's keeping pace. Oh. Okay. Now it's actually like 30 stairs. seconds slower than I was hoping for. It's, it's fine. fine, as long as you don't die. Yeah, no yeah, death. Yeah, not, di not, dying is, uh, not dying is the most important thing. You, you are correct. There's resources all around the house as well to keep the fight going, and you eventually, at some point in Madhouse, you will have to start looking for them. Sound is crucial in this fight as well, because Marguerite starts trying to spawn stuff on the walls, and you really don't want to deal with that, so you have to knock her off every so often to prevent her. Okay, last phase. And also, it's a speedrun, so you want to like shoot her to kill her. That helps too. While I'm reloading, I also like to pick up ammo here. Where, where's she going? Up oh, there, there she is. She's up there. I'm gonna reload. What? I'm gonna reload here. I've lost her myself now. Hello? Hi. One more. <laughs> Excuse you. Oh boy. I'll be fine. Oh, he's not going for the heal. Nice. Uh, nice. Oh, that was, that was, that was dead. It. Okay, got it. good. <laughs> you know, for improvising that run, uh, for that, that was, fight, that was great. Yeah, nice job. You Thank kept you. it cool. Clutched. You didn't go for the heal there at the end, which kind of scared me. <laughs> yeah, no. I, <laughs> Don't I, do that. I, yeah, I can't, I can't be using that heal because I actually need that for ammo in a second. Oh, okay. really? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Grab that, grab that. Still scaring me though, man. I can't take this. Okay, hang on one sec. Okay, good. Nice. So yeah, we're at uh, we're at a pretty big deficit on uh, handgun bullets right now because I actually need to be able to mix as many enhanced rounds as I can for uh, for uh, Mukade Jack. So there's gonna be some uh, some more uh, there's gonna be some more dead space here. Just gonna like kind of reload guns and stuff. Do we have any more uh, donations? We actually have a new donation from Louisiana guy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> He gives another $5. Louisiana guy here, great job with that centipede fact, but did you know they also taste great? You can add a little centipede to your gumbo with some cayenne pepper, and boy, it's tasty. Now that's a Uncle. hot Louisiana. Louisiana guy is my favorite. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> Uncle Joe, is that you? <laughs> Good luck on the run, he says. All right, I'm just, I'm just going to grab that because, I don't know, I'm feeling, feeling just a little bit nervous. Oh, man. Shotgun shells. Holy shotgun shells. <laughs> wow, this, the game really loves me right now. Yeah, the shotgun shells are plenty. You don't usually get that many. Actually, actually, on second thought, you know, the, I don't think, don't think I really need that after all. Just kidding. Would you like me to continue reading donations? 
Uh, the uncertain uh, noise means yes. <laughs> one more, one more. Exactly one more. Okay, we have $40 from Discoro. I'm donating now in name of my friend Danny who lost his mama to cancer. This one is for you, buddy. Greetings from Mexico. Thank you. Oh, wow. Ooh, the screen looks so video. weird. Uh, With all the blood on yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, what, the game crash? Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna pull... One more arm here. Like I, I'm actually like in a really dangerous position as far as HP is concerned. But yeah. I'm trying to rack my brain here. Where's another? Where's another health item? This is it. I think there is a herb in the main hall of the house that I could like detour and grab really quick. I should do that. Okay. So uh, this guy is gonna pop in right in front of us. I'm gonna wait for him to finish roaring. I gotta stay far away so that he doesn't do a sucker punch on me and kill me. Well. Most importantly, kill me, but even more importantly, like, make me waste ammo. <laughs> I could waste, I could, I could die, or even yeah, worse, lose ammo. Yeah, he's kind of on low health here, so if he gets sucker punched, it could, he could totally just die. Uh, good, okay, good. for safety. He, he safety sucker shot. punches, yeah, like, pre everyone. Presence of mind. Like, that guy is mean. Yeah, I mean, it's like I got, I got enough shotgun shells, I may as well, right? <laughs> yeah, really. That's so we can avoid, optional. Yeah, we can avoid, we can start avoiding phone calls here. Uh, yeah. I'm going to head out this way because, as opposed to going down there that way, like distance-wise, it's shorter, but this way is actually way faster because we're not falling down and climbing up ladders. And on top of that, we get the speed boost from being outdoors that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, there's a specific like faster oh, yeah, speed. Yeah, now look at how fast boost. it's going now. Like yeah, now, now we're compared to now, before. Now we now we sanic. We yeah. sanic fast now. <laughs> so you don't have to take phone calls, but you do still have to get people to phone you to yeah, progress so the game. Tap ring, the ring. Corner. Yeah. ring. Another huge time save. You just tap the oh. tap the corner there. Yeah, there's a green up right there. Run saved. Well done. Improvised routing. I'm I'm actually going to. Is there one more? Here? Yes, there is. Yeah. Nice who? Nice who? Just uh. And okay, good. Incidentally, my cursor needed to be there. I guess that kind of worked out. Your mental map of this game is very impressive. By the way, I don't know where half this stuff is. Oh yeah, it comes New with game the, plus. it comes it comes with the territory. Yeah. It comes with the territory. New game plus has ruined us. <laughs> okay. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. And right after that comment. Yeah, you know. Now Still I just not look looking silly. hot, Grandma. Just taking naps everywhere. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. I think, I think, okay. An actual resident sleeper. So equip this. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the knockback, because nice. killing, these, killing that guy Good is overrated. Timing. Okay, nobody look. Exactly, nobody look. Don't look. <laughs> Perfect. This scene isn't in the Japanese version of the game. Yeah, there's it's just a key sitting on that table there. Sorry. Yeah, the key is just sitting on the table in the Japanese version. The Japanese version, by the way, is uh, actually about 30 seconds faster due to like certain animations being omitted, mm -hmm. uh, including sticking your hand down the police officer's throat. Okay, I hope the cursor is going to remain right there. Yes, yes. okay, nice. good. That guy moves really fast, so yeah. I need to hit this right here. Okay, Very good, nice. good, good. He can be a jerk. <laughs> I heard which that. Which he tried to Wow, be. I heard that. <laughs> he tried, yeah. I felt, the, I felt the wind from that. A swing and a miss. I'll get a, a little bit of lag here. Okay, there we go. That's one of the things nice. about limiting your frame rate is uh, when you do it, the lag hits the lag hits home. All right, two tough buggers coming up here. So I'm going to use regular handgun bullet here to knock the first guy back and save the two shells for the second guy because I may need a backup shell in this narrow spot. Line up. Good. Nice. Good shot. Okay. He, he can destroy you yeah. if you miss that or shoot at the wrong time. And the worst thing about that is that if you actually do miss that, the guy that you shot first will actually yeah, go up behind you and you're trapped on the in. stairs. It is brutal. And then you die. So if you miss that shot, you're probably dead. Yeah. All right, so while this is coming down, grab those shotgun shells here. And uh, we're going to do another quick shadow puzzle here. Yeah. This one's tricky for beginners. You can lose a lot of time yeah, on this. It's very specific. I it's a run killer for a lot of people. Very nice. There you go. Very nice. Harder than it looks. Yes. Oh, way harder, yeah. Especially if you don't have the computer to have high shadows on. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. These, puzzles, <laughs> these puzzles are impossible yeah, it looks on very like low crap. shadow settings. Yeah. It's like trying to solve a mosaic. Yeah. <laughs> it, really, it really is. Yeah. Also, by the way, that toy axe over there, if you use it in the, uh, 
They've used it in the, uh, there's a hidden chest in the uh, backyard that you can use it on to get another stabilizer. That's a actually very frequently asked question. I thought I'd mention that. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, where, that's where stabilizer number two is. What do I know about this game? Why am I hit? <laughs> enough. <laughs> you know enough. And that's good enough for me, man. <laughs> Nice. So see, both of those snake doors he went through, he just used the snake key immediately because he set up his pre-menuing, like we talked about before. Very important in the I room. need this. He grabbed more inventory space there because, again, you need all the resources. All of them. One drop, one drop, one drop, one yeah. drop! <laughs> nice. It's quite hard to position that exactly so that you like, because normally you'll drop down, you'll land on a higher ledge, and then you'll immediately drop down again, which wastes like, I don't know, like three or four seconds or whatever. Mm -hmm. One drop is fast, and I get very excited about it because I'm into the little things. <laughs> oh my God. You know, just one of Jack's like, wow. crazy uh, taxidermy art. Modern art is weird. Sometimes this guy can sucker punch while he's spawning in. Good I, have, good I don't know. The sucker punch, seriously, this is like the worst thing about the game. Just saying. Oh yeah. It's 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 just it's just randomized damage. I really don't like that. You can't even really stumble them while they're spawning either, so that's not a viable backup. Yep. Mm -hmm. So over here, uh, these guys are going to one, uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah. and two. Gonna get their heads blown off. off. And that guy's still alive, so I'm going to nice. despawn him. If he died, I could have just ran straight for the door, but. Alas. It's hard to hit those shots precisely, so we have that like quick. Nice menuing. Strat. Menuing is a huge part of running Resident Evil as a franchise, and Madhouse New Game is probably the hardest on menuing uh, in Resident Evil Zero. Just very tough menuing. Grab this. Yes. <laughs> such a such a deficit here. All right, so uh, oh, during TV the uh, TV TV sequence here, no 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 TV skip. It's possible for the. TV to explode early, but yeah, like that, that one guy's PS4. Yeah, we think, like, that we was think a disc it, we, error. We think it's a disc, it's a disc error. error. It's a, yeah, yeah. It's, either, it's either a disc error or the uh, game files were corrupt somehow, mm -hmm. and it just like skipped. Like the like this is like just literally a video file it's pasted a terrible, over a TV. Terrible video. An interlaced video file, by the way, for all you video geeks out there. It's actually pretty nice the way they handled. Oh yeah. Interlacing on like the actual TVs. Anywho, um, can we get some more uh, donations? Sure. Skywardly donates forty dollars. Ten dollars for every time Carcinogen has said this is actually really bad. Amazing run. <laughs> we have wow, an anonymous. <laughs> we have an anonymous two hundred and fifty dollar donation. This RE seven run is one of the tensest things I've ever watched. Congrats. I agree. I'm um, a little spooked out. <laughs> oh God. Yikes. We have ten dollars from Switch. <laughs> hey, Carsey, it's Switch. Just in case you were wondering why things keep going pear-shaped, this should clear things up. Good luck on the run, and don't forget the valve handle. Wait, wrong Resi game. Carsey can decide where the donation goes. Switch. <laughs> I like how the game attempts to pull your view back into the TV every so often, so you have to manually readjust it so you don't see him pulling his fingernails off. It's gross, oh man. God. We don't yeah. want to watch his IRL stream. No. <laughs> if I wanted a balding man to breathe in my ear for two minutes, I'd go hang out with my uncle. Forget this. So coming up here is another uh, checkpoint, which is the first in-game checkpoint on Madhouse since the dining room table. If I hadn't been saving and I died, I would have wound up all the yeah. way back at the dining back room. Back to dinner, yep. son. 40 back minutes dinner, stretched son. with no yeah. checkpoint at all. At least grandma gets to have another good night. <laughs> Madhouse, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, see, that one guy's PS4, the TV just blew up as soon as he sat down. It was just like, yep. okay. It was crazy. Can we all figure right. this out? Discreet era. All right, very hard part here. Not legit. So, yeah, it's not too terribly difficult. Just Bombs. boom, shoot them. Boom. Yeah. Bo boom. <laughs> Going as quick as possible is very difficult. It's risky as well. Yeah. Yes. Boom. Under the table. Give me that. Oh, yeah. McCreamy. Also, give me this. Give me whatever's in here. Nice. God, shotgun. Dang it. So many shotgun shells. Gosh, oh dang it. That chest, that box explodes if you shoot it. It's like, yeah, don't. don't. There's a, lot there's a reason why he ignored that one. I'm getting such a poop ton of shotgun shells right now. All the hidden ammo in this game. So he shoots all of them, but like 
a viable option as well is that this game has the guarding mechanic, which is already kind of silly when you're guarding like razor sharp claws hitting you. You can also guard bomb explosions with your fists. Try that in real life and tell me how you get on, but it still works. It reduces damage quite a lot. But it also take you still take damage on Madhouse though, so like ideally you don't do it on Madhouse really. <laughs> so right there, he actually just right clicked out of that uh, password menu, and I think a I think a very frequently asked question is whether or not you can put that code in uh. early. Now you cannot put it in early; it does not work. But it does change the code mm -hmm. later. There are two codes. That is no. the most asked question. Okay, so coming up here, I'm going to uh, do a slightly risky strat. Ooh, just, just, let's just, see it. Just slightly risky. Hopefully Spicy. my reaction my reaction times are good. Okay, cool. Ooh. Very nice. <laughs> just in case. Let's just, go. Yeah, okay, that, 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 was, that was actually a lot harder than it looked. It, yes. Uh, if you do get too close to that tripwire, I mean, okay, it's a off. lot of back damage. Off. Back off. Card here. Back off. Back off. Th I said back off. You got it. Too little, too late. <laughs> you were supposed to cooperate. What Run. do I pay you for? Is it good? Is it good? Okay, it's good. Safe. And you despawn like every enemy when you go through a door yeah. like this. You never really know if you're safe from those guys because they're so quick. Yeah. Yahoo, another save. I'm just doing nice. this because uh, this, this also oh, has yeah. the capacity to go south, even though I'm actually quite good at it. The safety saves are always because any, yeah, any yeah, death so in this can dock like, you minutes. Oh wait, were they, were they still there? I, I just heard them for a second. I think they might have respawned or something. Doesn't matter. Oh. You're past it. Yeah, they're I mean, out. yeah, it doesn't doesn't matter too terribly much. I bet it's shotgun. Sh oh. They're here to see the show. Handgun ammo. You did it. We finally got handgun ammo. Nice. How do you feel? Uh. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> All right. So, uh, got the neuro rounds equipped. What neuro rounds do is they they hard stun enemies, or they hard stun fat molded, and they also slow them down, and Fat Molded are brutal on Madhouse if you don't use Neuro Rounds. So I'm gonna pop. And then one, two, this guy has less That's HP, so damage. I'm gonna kill him first. Kill him first. Does he really have less HP? Cool. Yes, he does, actually. Ooh. So I don't actually know why, though. The more you know. Great fight. Clean, mm -hmm. very clean. I'm pretty sure the fat guys exploding don't actually do any damage, but they also like can knock you down if you're too close to them, so guarding them is, you know, time efficient. Yeah. I don't think I got anything else to mix, huh? Okay. Sure. That's your inventory. So I'm just uh, rearranging my inventory a little bit to uh, get everything put away in the most optimal fashion. Yeah, Lucas, uh, Lucas actually forces you to put every single thing in your inventory away in your item box before you go into the next area. He's very cheeky like that. So he likes to play games. Gonna hit this button and also grab this heel over here while the thing is dropping. You don't actually have to check the uh, the body, which is the body of Clancy, by the way. Oh, some classic RE sounds coming up. It has the yeah. passcode on it, but if you already know the passcode, then you don't have to do it. Here we go. The sweet sound of optimal menu. menuing. Just a nice little touch, I think. Yeah. Very nostalgic sound. Mm -hmm. And now an escape the room segment. Have a nice day. No well, thanks. I think if more escape the room games tried to literally kill you, I would play them more. <laughs> Can we get one more donation, please? Just a, just a short one. We have a $40 anonymous donation donating for my friend who lost her sister recently to cancer. Keep up the great work, everyone. All right, so. Puzzle, pretty straightforward. You can actually uh, read ahead and know the solution if you watch the uh, video in Lucas's attic titled Happy Birthday. Gonna orient my cursor here for this. It's a real puzzle as well. If you do handle. stuff in the wrong order, you die. Yep. Yeah, some stuff doesn't make sense because in the blind playthrough, you would watch the video and play through the video first, but you don't do any videos except for one on the boat in the speed run. I know what I want to make about this, so this padlock, is that every correct letter is always exactly five spaces away from where you start. Mm, very simple. Yeah. 
Some Silent Hill logic right there. Always five. One other thing to note is uh, whenever you use any item that uh, requires Ethan's literal hands to use, it will generally like uh, warp your character model over in that general direction, like so. But uh, with a bit of optimal placement, you actually uh, it actually takes less time to go from point A to actually the animation where Ethan uses the item. Kind of has to snap the kind of has to snap the animation in order for it to complete. So this bomb explodes and will break the wall, but uh, you think standing right in front of a bomb would be a terrible idea. You'd be wrong. You silly fool. You don't know how bombs work at all. This is this is this is exactly this is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna block the bomb with my body, guys. It works. As long as you're slightly off axis here, the bomb doesn't hit you, even though you're right in front of it. Mm -hmm. Boom, and you go through, and because you get through it fast enough, there's like an animation where the smoke comes in and Ethan like coughs and tries to bat it away and blah, blah, blah. But if you go fast enough through it, it doesn't happen. So you save time. Exciting. Yeah, I mean, you go yeah. so slow if yeah. you don't do that. Oh, yeah. Ethan slows down very much. And he took a specific route there through the exploded wall just so he could move faster, because sometimes it'll slow you down unless you take the right route. Just another small time save. Right. So... 12 shotgun shells is like more than enough. I'm hoping that I get maybe one or two more boxes of handgun bullets in the boxes that I have to break in the next save. It's yeah, gonna be shotgun up. shells. Let's go. Yeah, one of the scariest <laughs> boss fights is coming up here on Madhouse. RNGs is take the wheel. Yeah. All about the shotgun. Bless RNG in the chat. Let's gotta use the crank exactly one more time. I'm pretty sure this is the last time we ever have to use the crank for the rest of the game. I have no idea what it is with the Resident Evil developers and cranks. But sure enough. Okay, so this guy's gonna pop out of the water. We gotta wait for that animation to finish. Then we can shoot him you because he has yeah, full life frames. He has full life frames there. And then uh, another four legged molded about to pop out of the water here. If we're lucky, maybe the last guy won't spawn. You can see him. Yeah, there he is. An exact timing. Wait a moment. Pop. Yeah. Precisely. That headshot. Shot. And yeah. there he is. Ooh, there there the he is. Oh, excuse no you. sucker punch. <laughs> Just push back. Should no sucker punch. All right, that's pass. good. Good boat run. Two for one. Hang on. Oh, hey, congrats. congrats. Hey. Success. Uh, excuse you. Excuse me. You have no space. You have too many shotgun shells. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. Yes, he does have too many shotgun shells. Oh. Do, do I really have too many shotgun shells? You do. Oh, it's yes. taking up two spaces. The odds of this happening. Just figures. Just toss them. I don't need those. The dream run for shotgun <laughs> shells. My God. Wow. That's that's a that's quite a rare luck to have that yeah. many that it actually starts taking up two spaces. Yeah, it usually. Caps at Thirty. Yeah, usually I'm at a deficit of shotgun shells oh, yeah. when I do this run. <laughs> Surprising. There's also another checkpoint before uh, before Jack 3, or Mukade Jack, as he's known in the game files. Mukade is, uh, as I mentioned before, it's like a Japanese centipede. Here we go. Daddy's coming, and he is mad. One, two, and... Sure. Yeah, this is looking I think good. We're, yeah, we're, we're, like, we're like way good. All right, yeah. so I gotta make sure this is equipped. Um, I'm gonna take over commentary for this section of here. Okay. Is, uh, about to get a little intense here. Hey, one of those is mine. It's crabs both. Just take them both, yeah. So, we gotta do a little bit of uh, action optimization for this fight, and by a little bit, I mean oh. a lot. He'll cycle through all his weapons repeatedly to do a burst so, amount of damage. So, first up, uh, we're going to, uh, like, the center of our camera is going to lock onto his eye. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. I think I might have missed good a little box. bit. Excuse you. There it is. Okay, that's good. It's fine. And then, gonna reload here. Gonna block that. Good, good. And I reload here, and then he's gonna get up a lot slower here, so. We'll give him time to reload one more time. Give me time to reload here. Especially for oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot. 
Whew. Nice, nice. He's got the heal. I don't need any more shotgun shells here. No, you definitely don't. I do not. Okay, so he's there. going to uh, he's gonna go up, and I'm going to pop a grenade on his tail. This one is quite. Oh, you're kidding me! The one oh, on the underside is hot. This, to hit this as is well. bad. This is bad. I need to I need to concentrate. I need serious time here, actually. It's Mr. Grenade. Okay, so we're gonna use a neuro round to slow him down here, and then. One, two. Oh, oh. Did I destroy his tail? I don't think I did. I think you did. No, you did. Is this optimal? You just I have the so. left side now. I'm pretty sure the fire got him from the Yeah. Oh, ship. is this optimal, Jack? What the heck? Mm. Yep. I think you got it, dude. I. Yeah, nice. I, Great I, job. I did. Okay. Well, hang on one sec. This is not over yet. Second phase. We block those. Did you see them parries? Got it. Wow, yeah, that was that was a that was a perfect good. jack. Nice job. I was actually I was actually surprised. Like normally he uh, normally I don't get him fast enough, and he usually goes for like another phase on the Raptors. But by destroying all the eyes. Oh my God! He's you not stuck dead. the shot on the backside directly. So the fire got it on the way down. Right, right. <laughs> Mid sentence. Oh, whatever. So another uh, important thing to note over here, especially with uh, the end of Zoe DLC that uh, just came out, is uh, choosing Zoe is the incorrect answer, because Zoe just dies. Yeah. So we have to choose Mia. I mean, it's not like, well, Zoe, Zoe dies if you choose to save Zoe. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Zoe doesn't die, but, you know. Any who's in. Uh, going to choose Mia, because choosing Mia also you prevents me. you from having to fight Mia later. If you choose Zoe, then you will actually have to fight Mia once you regain control of Ethan at the end of the ship. There so, just be one left. you save about a good do minute just doing this alone. Oh, yeah. Like... I don't know, it's like, it's like, as far as binary choices go, this is probably like the one that matters the least out of any video game ever, because you could do the good ending and beat the game faster, or you can do the bad ending and beat the game slower, so. Anyways, um. <laughs> this, is a, this is a pretty long stretch here, by the way, of uh, inaction, so uh, keep them coming. All right. Oh, yeah. We have $15 from Mike EB. Good luck on the Madhouse run, Carsey. The RE team is cheering you on. Thank you. We have $20 from Skrillo130. Ooh. Oh, hi, guys. Is that a wild Maxi and Bach on the couch? Hey. Aw, yeah. Just here wishing Carsey luck on his run and have a great AGDQ. Thank $5 you so much. each to person's choice. Yo, thank you, Skrillo. We have $50 from Turnways. Hey, Carsey, Turnways Surprise. here. Wish I could have made it this year, but I'll have to settle for watching from home. Hope your menuing is on point and the UI doesn't give you too much trouble because I'm taking notes. Good luck on the run. Shout out to Punchy and Maxi Lobes on the couch. Turnways is actually a uh, UI designer. Thank you. So you better be taking notes. And we have $40 from Dusk Rage Games, longtime watcher and a Resident Evil 7 runner donating to support Carsey in his run. Mia, cheers, Dusk Rage. I know you've been through a lot. Last month, my grandmother learned that she was cancer free just in time for Christmas. So, how could I not stuff. donate to this amazing cause? 20 goes to runner's choice and 20 to reader's choice. Ethan, I honestly we have an anonymous $150 donation, longtime watcher, first time donating. This donation is in memory of one of my best friends who passed away from cancer. He was an avid gamer and would have loved GDQ. Good luck to all the runners and let's beat cancer. We have $50 from Rock Life. This Resident Evil Madhouse run by Cassinogen is amazing. Great commentary for the couch and Carsey is keeping his cool during one clutch moment after another. Put this donation towards the bonus Superman 64 run. 
Because we need to see a real horror game at AGDQ 2018. <laughs> I was watching that in the practice room earlier. It is amazing. You really do want to see that. <laughs> yeah. It's so much worse than you think, and you think it's bad. Would you like me to keep going? Uh, uh, yes, please. Yes, All yeah. right, I wasn't sure if the cutscene was There's over. A, no, no, this, this, yeah, is, this section this, is brutal. Yeah, this, 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 whole, this whole section for like the next few minutes is just a long cutscene, so please keep going. Absolutely. We have $40 from ArtGirl26. I'm a cancer survivor myself and really touched by everyone's stories. Thank you everyone at AGDQ for running this event for such an important cause, and thank you everyone who has donated and will continue to donate throughout the week. It means so much. Mm -hmm. Happy to contribute myself during a really great run. We have $5 from a regular Jenny. Best of luck, Carsey. It's been fun to see you at AGDQ again, doing what you do best, and this run is really sick. Good stuff, man. Keep up, man. Hope to see you at a future event soon. It's been a while. Your Swedish buddy, Ginny. Donation goes to Carsey's Choice. Also, hi, Punchy, and great job on commentary couch. Thank you. Hey. Thanks, Jen. I have $50 from Hank Mardux, donating on behalf of my girlfriend's father who was diagnosed with colon cancer in early 2017. Here's to kicking cancer's butt. We have $100 from Animated Elf. I'm so glad I can finally donate to an AGDQ. It's always so much fun to watch Carcinogen's Resident Evil runs, and I'm so sad I can't be there to see it in person. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. We have $15 from John P. Up late studying and Carcinogen is making it way more interesting, aside from the dark irony of a switch handle. Uh-oh. Resident Evil used to be one of my favorite series, faded with RE5 as with many, but was revi revitalized with RE7. Watching you go through this run has been fantastic. As someone who is a grad student doing research, it is great to see so much support going to an organization that supports research through grants and other research outreach programs. Keep up the good work, HDQ, and I wouldn't mind some more Louisiana facts from Carcinogen. <laughs> Try to find some more Louisiana facts. Probably gonna have to ask Trihex for more of those. Anyways, um, so uh, I positioned myself in between those uh, two guys there uh, in order to be able to get inside this vent the fastest. Also going to strafe out of this hole here. Um, we got time for one more donation. Okay, we have $40 from CFAT Ninja. I lost my father to lung cancer 15 years ago. One of my best friends was diagnosed with testicular cancer, and my little cousin diagnosed with breast cancer. Both battled cancer and won. I hope that we can find a way towards a cancer-free world. Are you remembering? What? What are you? Do we have any more? Oh yes, absolutely. I apologize. You said one, and I was. <laughs> oh, I was, I was sorry. Being I, 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 I totally <laughs> forgot about this cutscene. One more. All right, we have a one hundred dollar anonymous donation. Seeing you kill this in ways I didn't think possible is blowing me away. I know how hard this game is on Madhouse, and you're making it look easy, Chris Inigen. Thank you for the kind words. Still in a dream. Oh man. Snake. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Also, were you doing a per hit count for that donation or a per death count? I don't know. I lost. I lost count. I'm because I have 16 right now. Oh, you, you have 16. You have been keeping track. Well done. <laughs> you actually have. Yep. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. Well, then. Well, in that case, uh, let's Wait. keep keep it going. All right. 16 hits. And I, that might actually be a little low. I'm not 100 percent sure. <laughs> we'll go with it. We won't count the guarded hits. Uh, oh, 17. 17 hits. Ding it. Sucker punch. Thank you. Thank you, Molded. Thank you, whoever designed the Molded. Bomb. Ah, get, 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 get out of here. Use your words. <laughs> Is he going to despawn? I, he's despawned. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, no, we no. didn't. Oh. Punchy! Dang it! <laughs> it's for charity, Carsey. Jamaine. <laughs> Haji, are you are you are you seriously trying to make me homeless over here? <laughs> I thought I heard him 
despawn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I heard him despawn too. I mean, I took I took the bait too for what it's worth, but. <laughs> Damn it, Punchy! <laughs> oh, sure, blame me, whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Bach mentioned earlier, this is the only videotape that we actually watch. Mm -hmm. Look wild. <laughs> and it is long. It's also it's quite out. scary <laughs> because, again, it doesn't checkpoint at all. Diet. <laughs> uh, does, I think it checkpoints at one point sort of in the middle. Ooh, everyone's hard. favorite character. Yeah. So, again, death's punishing. Very, very. Very pivotal, very important character. We know we know nothing about this guy. Yeah. His name's oh. Alan. <laughs> Why That's is about he in it. this game? Oh. <laughs> he sure is. Uh, he sure is a person. What he a likable character. He loves to complain. <laughs> <laughs> we have God. that in common. I empathize uh, with this man. This section of the game is just something else. <laughs> she didn't attack you. So yeah, the ship VHS is uh, considered to be one of the more brutal sections of the game. But that's because we are uh, starting with a knife and also a very, very, very weak submachine gun. And there are a lot of enemies on this boat. Mm -hmm. Okay, Evie, where are you? So you have to start building resources again from like nothing. And you don't really get that many. So this section's quite hard. Yeah, this can go so real fast. And again, death's punishing at checkpoints like once, and the yep. location. So before we check this, convenient. I'm going to grab this Damn. herb over here. Herb, herb. How's it going? She's vomiting. Far more. Because uh, if I do so, I have to do oh, so before right. this cutscene plays. Otherwise, I just straight up can't pick up items, as you can see here. I would love to pick up that red or that right. yellow chemical, but can't really do much of anything here. Gonna wait for this to be over before we can even open the door. So. Absolutely nothing. Okay, chem fluid. That should be the only heal that I need throughout the section. I'm gonna, hopefully he doesn't sucker punch. Good. Nope, good. Actually despawns quite quickly. Uh -oh. oh, that's that's a lie. Uh, okay, that's... That was embarrassing. I thought he was supposed to despawn there. Oh, I was supposed to close the door. That's what I was supposed to do. Shoot. Okay, so if we do this quick enough, then I should be able to beat the elevator door, I hope. I think I might have messed it up. Go, go, go. Come on. Oh, no. almost. If you're really fast, then you can despawn the molded and beat the elevator door before it closes. Once it starts closing, then that's pretty much it. It's a tight so, time frame. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm um, going to position over to fourth slot over here to pick up the uh, corrosion, or the uh, corroder. A lot of menuing is actually done in the elevator. Mm -hmm. Corrosion chemical. So this guy is about to pop out over here. OK, that was a slow attack, so I just decided to go ahead and risk it. That's good. And uh, then this guy, he's probably going to sucker punch me. I'm going to go right here. That was a sucker punch. Just a light one. Jerk. He tried to go for another. Yeah. Hopefully this guy doesn't move too fast. Uh, oh, he's going turbo. Oh, hoo -hoo, back off. Don't, don't sucker punch, thank you. Good luck. Yeah, it, it sucks that he has the machine gun here because it has no hit stun. It's just, it's a bad weapon for Madhouse. It's a bad weapon for Madhouse, but it actually does have a pretty good defense rating. One thing that should be mentioned is that uh, weapons you have equipped actually do have a uh, defense rating. So like, uh, you actually do. You actually do, uh, it actually does like soak up a little more damage whenever you guard with certain weapons equipped. The timing of your block is also important. The, the timing, game, yes. The game provides basically zero indication that it is, but a perfectly timed guard nullifies more damage, a just guard. What did you call me? I don't just guard is, is commonly known in many Japanese action games. Capcom makes fighting games. I assume their lineage comes from that. That's why they put it in a survival horror game, because yeah. Yeah. That's actually one of the things that I like a lot about Resident Evil is that it actually has a fair bit in common with uh, fighting games on some level. So a little bit of the terminology even carries over. Or is applicable to actions that you can see in Resident Evil games. So we're going to pop this open here. There's going to be two more guys spawning here. Um, I don't need to use any more items, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this uh, chemical here. And uh, hopefully won't get sucker punched. Thank you. Nice. Good pattern there. Yeah. Close, close. 
close the door behind me. Actually, this door was open the whole time. I could have just gone this, gone and closed this door, but whatever. It's uh, more consistent. Close the two doors over there. I'm gonna unload on this guy while slowly moving towards him. Don't miss a shot. Oh. Got it. Half and then a clip to kill one guy. One, two, boom. Get around these guys. Very important explosive right there. Yeah. Safe. Very safe. Because otherwise, if you try and fight those enemies as you're waiting for the elevator to come down, Mia does this annoying thing where yeah. every so often she looks at her watch to go like, oh, how close am I to Eevee? And that will interrupt you shooting. Oh, Mia's, yeah. Mia's clearly got her priorities straight. I'm pretty sure that the developers expected uh, the player to have killed the enemies by that point. And on Madhouse, I mean, yeah, I know you kind of have to, but... Otherwise, the optimal strat would simply be to push the elevator button and uh, try to find a way to kill the enemies that way. But you gotta go for safe on Madhouse. I'm gonna go this way. There's one more enemy that I have to guard. Yeah, and, this and then after that, it's like it's like pretty much the last one. I'm just gonna like probably skate right on. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm gonna play it safe. He could sucker punch there too, but he didn't. That Thank guy you. loves to sucker punch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's. Uh, and that, if you go up the guy. elevator with low health, he can be the run under. Because the last checkpoint was when he first entered the basement, which was like, I don't know, two to three minutes ago yeah. or something. What's our uh, hit count up to? I do believe that makes 20, unless that was a guarded hit. Um. It was, it was guarded. Okay, so 19. But I'm not really sure, like, I don't know. You got it, the hit. Come on, man. Say what? You got it, the hit. Give yourself that one. Where's he be? <laughs> <laughs> I declare it. It was guarded. I'm okay. doing it for you. All right. So All right. this is Alan's biggest mistake in life. Right oh, here. this is so sad. <laughs> don't say that. I think we got time for a couple of donations, actually. Okay, we have five dollars. Louisiana guy here. Don't worry, carcinogen. I got you covered when you need a Louisiana fact. Did you know the average Louisiana home contains at least 100 shotgun shells? They really did their homework when they made this game. Also, huge shout out to Rap God on the couch. Keep up the good run. I like you too, Louisiana guy. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, this, um... We have a $40 anonymous donation. Some of the best commentary I've heard yet. G great job with all of the improvising, Carsey. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Thank you. Thank God he is gone. So, uh, we're not done with the videotape just yet. No, there's just a little bit more, yeah, uh, like another cutscene here. Do, another couple of cutscenes, actually. So, can we? Do we uh, have time for another donation? Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah, cool. All right, we have ten dollars from Brucci. Who smuggled all these cats into AGDQ? Your run is looking good. Keep it up, Carsey. So glad to see running for such a great cause. Thank you, Brucci. Another. We have one hundred and fifty dollars from Catnip87. What's the best way of experiencing scary games? Get scared, watch people get scared, then watch how scary broken the game is. I should mention that this is one of the only skippable cutscenes in the game right here. Yep. Why? Why is this the only one? Because, uh... Why? It's more of a cinematic. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, yeah, that was no, I don't care. Mad. No. How, are we doing on, cutscene? how are we doing on time here, by the way? You are at 126. That's good. You're doing fine. Yeah. Oh, we this face. Watch the family. face she makes. We will never be Ugh. a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, man. Uh, I would just like to point out that there was a, quite a funny joke about uh, Evelyn kind of looking like Eddie Dombrowski. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she looks exactly like Eddie from Silent Hill 2. <laughs> Google it. Google pictures Google of Eddie it. and her. Oh, my God. It she actually kind of does. She looks exactly like her. She does. It's real freaky. Really long ladder here. Fortunately, we only have to go up at once. I already made yeah. a snake eater joke. I'm not be, doing it twice. Yeah. yeah, don't do it. <laughs> it should be mentioned that, you know, while this game is... Uh, most certainly played like a first-person shooter on PC. Like, everything about Resident Evil 7 was designed specifically with VR in mind, all the way down to the uh, 
to the playable cutscenes and the ah ha 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 ha. So. Which, yeah, by the way, VR is absolutely amazing experience oh, yeah. with this like, game. Best VR game, in my opinion. Hopefully, uh, next time I wind up playing this. If it gets into another GDQ in the future, should be able to play it in VR. Oh, yeah. Because actually, VR runs are uh, quite fun. I actually uh, missed the deadline to... Um, I actually missed the deadline to add VR as an incentive, but VR in this game is actually quite good. If you've, if you've never experienced this game before, I would highly recommend your first playthrough be in VR. Mm -hmm. With no spoilers and VR, this is actually a terrifying game. You may not find it scary just playing by yourself on I'm a normal little, monitor, but... I'm a little nervous with what's coming up here. Do I... Okay, all right, I'm just making sure. Because there's a four-legged molded here, and uh, in order for the uh, optimal strat to happen here... Okay, grab that. Shoot! What was that? You're not dead. You're not dead. Oh, oh wow, dead. we are dead. I don't know. Okay. That was unfortunate. All right. You checked that. Check that was that was that was that was, that was that was a delayed death. I thought it gave me hope for a second. Oh wow! And all the way back here. Why? Oh my. Go. Oh. Why does it checkpoint at the end? <sighs> Video games. Yes. Okay. Video games. All right. Well, that's. Uh, Checkpoints before the cutscene. That's actually one safe strat that I actually didn't take into account. I really should have, and I apologize for that. Well, I mean, we, there was a there was a slightly longer uh, route that would have taken like ten seconds longer, and I could have I could have totally avoided that, but I wasn't thinking straight. It's okay. Those uh, those crawling molded, you know, we mentioned them before. They are tough. I'm surprised that that's the first time something like that's happened, honestly. Because as I've said, this is hard. That can happen at pretty much any given point in the run at all. Right, yeah. and, and that particular enemy, you don't have any weapon in your inventory. So, like, if he just attacks you, there's nothing you can do besides block. Right. So let's try this one more time. Not for honor, but for can we get Sorry. some? Uh, can we get some donations, please? Absolutely. Good news. We have fifty dollars from Hepcat. I'm covering Carsey's first five hits. Keep up the good run. Thank you. Ish. Ish. <laughs> I'm still going to have to pay that up, but thank you. You're up to 21. We thank have you. an anonymous $200 donation. I was going to donate during the Bloodborne run, but this RE7 run is amazing. Keep up the great work, runners and staff. Thank you. We have $100 from Wolfson. Hey there, everyone at GDQ. Always been a huge fan of everything you guys do. All the runners, announcers, couch commentators, doctors, and etc. Figured I'd do my part. Wishing you all the best, and hopefully we can be the masters of unlocking the cure for cancer. Right. So, alternate route. We're going to go in here. First, we're going to just like skate right by this fat molded. Grab the chemical. But this time, instead of going down those stairs, we are going to go this way, which is effectively the same way down. It's just climbing animations, which is why it's slower. Right, yeah. I was about to mention that. <laughs> it, that look how slow that animation is. Yeah. It's actually quite mm -hmm. slow. So there's a, uh, the four-legged molded that just killed us. Peace ball. See die. you later. I could have just gone this way. But uh, now we have... Now we have the this, and he's going to spawn again. Just kidding. He spawned. Because going into because that's actually a save room there. There's there's only one. Uh, there's a. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cassette recorder there, not typewriter. Cassette recorder. That's actually exactly not where I'm supposed to go. I need to climb up the ladder here. I kind of played myself a little bit. That's all right. Fighting things is overrated. That's why you despawn them. You just like put foot in the room and they immediately go away. It's like, oh, okay. I actually all wonder right. if like the fat or if the four-legged molded backing up can happen if I have this equipped. It's like anything with a cursor. Or it has to be a gun. I should probably like tr check that out later. But anyway, so these uh, these bombs here. Um, economical use of these bombs. Which she picked up before the videotape, might I add. Right. Are uh, 
key to making sure that you don't die from sucker punches, because sucker punches will kill you. So this MPM handgun here, I actually use this to uh, manipulate the four-legged molded in the basement, like on the way out of here. So we're going to do this and cancel it out of here. This actually allows me to check the status of the other molded here while that action is happening. And yeah, that's, that's puke. And is he going to let me through? Thank you. Ooh, nice. That's a, also a very scary parrot. And on Madhouse, this guy can actually run after you quite quickly. Oh, yeah. It's and happened before. Mm -hmm. And you can get stunned. Oh, oh, God! Oh. Yep. <laughs> like Here he I comes. Because of the devil. <laughs> get, get out! Get out! Get out! Don't get spooked. He, he knows where he is. He's at GDQ. He's going fast. Oh, yeah. I, like, wanted to check behind me, but I didn't, <laughs> didn't expect him to be that close. All right. Wow. You're not dead. It's good. Well, 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 point proven, at least. I'm trying not to use this uh, this healing item here if I can, because I could dismantle it for another red chemical. I mean, I'll, I'll use it if I have to, but it would be it would be preferable that I did not. Yeah, there's one uh, molded coming up here, a sucker punch. He's waiting. Could be dangerous. Yeah, he likes this guy. Likes to this guy loves to sucker punch. Yeah. But Give him a sucker punch. Grab this. Yeah, oh, that, he he I called it. I called it. I called it. This guy here yeah, too. This guy's mean He's as gonna well. back up. Back off. I said back up. I'm so done. This it's over. It's over for me, man. Oh god. Just kidding. <laughs> I totally forgot I had that. I was, say, I was wondering, is he gonna use it or not? Yeah. You can be really close to those and not have it like oh, hurt you. Please, fat boy, move it. It's fine. You go around. No, it's uh, very nice. Yeah. yeah. As long as I kill that guy, he always like pukes in that general direction. So no more worries for the boat now. Good, that is we're that past is the boat. Oh, right, thank God. This is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> checkpoints after that, so that is good. This Compete. is a very, very brutal section of the game, by the way. Like, uh, see, there's a there's a scar that I was talking about earlier, right there on his cheek. Huh. Some actual amazing acting in this cut. Probably the best cutscene in the game. Yeah. To be real. Yeah, I agree. I gotta. 100%. Yeah. I gotta be honest. Uh, <laughs> The ship section has actually kind of grown on me. Like, people give it a bad rap, but uh, it's like in the speed run. It's actually kind of fun. So I don't know. Yeah, in Madhouse, is there stuff to do but new game easy? Oh boy, <laughs> it is a snore. Anyways, we got uh, about another couple minutes of cutscene here, so we could get some more donations, please. Absolutely Lonely Days 17 donates $10. $10 for that spooky face carcinogen. $20 from Plum Rice Ball. It's spooky. I usually can't watch horror games, but really enjoying the commentary. Great run. Jim Dude 2435 donates $25. Great job with the run, Karsty. Easily my favorite commentary of any of the streams so far. Keep it up. She Thank you. Mind. Lauren donates $20. Amazing Resident Evil 7 run, Carsey. I think you have a fan base. Uh-oh. Really? Carsey? Carsey has fans. No, uh -oh. We have a $50 donation from an anonymous donor. Second time watching GDQ. Love what you guys do and love watching the speedruns. My grandfather died of a brain tumor before I was born, but I know a great man was lost from it. Been loving the Resident and Evil speedrun, and I love you guys for what you've been doing. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. She's the key. All right. Chronic Fine. donates $5. Maxi said this game would never make it into a GDQ, and man, uh -oh. I am glad he was wrong. <laughs> were those, was, were, were all the people saying that the game wouldn't make it in, was, it, was, it, was that you? No. Was that you? I didn't, I didn't, was that you? I didn't spread that. Was that you? But I did think, <laughs> I did believe it wouldn't get in. He but. thought it quite loudly. <laughs> this right. run is fantastic, and Carcinogen is doing an excellent job. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Stay away from him. Why? We have twenty dollars from Alana. Hey, Carsey, first time donating for me. Discord says hi. Good luck and great run. Enjoy the mines. Thank you so much. Do we have time for one more? Uh, yeah, yeah, one more. Okay. We have ten dollars from Bombay. Always like to donate after being blown away by all the things I didn't know playing these games casually. Shoutouts to Simple Flips. Donation goes to Couch's Choice. Sword the Zelda. Oh, what? 
I think there's time for one more. Well, there, yeah, there's time for one more. Mm. Mm. All right, we have a $15 anonymous donation. As a cancer survivor, I'm constantly in awe of how generous and caring this community is. And thank you to everybody for their time and donations and helping to end this monster that is cancer. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Maybe exactly one more. TSM Zero donated five dollars. Whoa! Sub Good zero? stuff, Carsey. Shoutouts from TSM Zero. Love you, man. Uh, love you too. Thank you so much. Okay, you little bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> and a <laughs> checkpoint, oh, so you don't go back to the ship when you die. Now that is done. Great. So, uh, stretch. Breathe. <laughs> yeah, there's just gonna be you know a little little trail here. Fish. A lot of mm, smelly. We are we are we are currently uh, we are currently looking at uh, content from the hit new video game Death Stranding. Wow, they really like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Getting pretty good fish RNG over here. Keep him, keep him. No. <laughs> <laughs> you let him down. Yeah, you lose him right when you go through here anyways. Oh, no. <laughs> so I've never actually tried to push him. I've tried. Of course you have. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if the fish can like block you from climbing the ladder. That, that would be a thing to check out. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna grab the stripping agent, and there's another neuro around there, I think, that I just grabbed. Yes. Stuff, okay. stuff, 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 stuff. I didn't. Stuff. I have no Lots idea. Stuff. Just called Lots that was too much stuff, stuff real fast. The game wants you to really be prepared for this next section of the game. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's neuro and uh, how are we doing on shotgun shells? Okay, good. A lot. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm still. We're still good. One, two. No sucker punch. Oh boy. Nicely hey, well done. done. That's actually a lot harder than it looks because those molded can really mess you up. If you get yeah. sucker punched, then you don't have time to press the button before you get hit again. So that was very well done. He didn't miss a shot either. Okay. Reload this. I'm using my standard handgun ammo in this gun and uh, enhanced rounds in this gun. No particular reason. You can hit the trip mines from this distance with like a precise enough aim so you don't have to get rid of them when you're that close. All right. This Let's guy coming down, all I have to do is knock him back. I just have to disable him, but... Good oh, shot. Nice. You killed him. Oh, yeah. And again, you have to time that precisely because, again, while he's like coming in and like doing his little flexy show-off animation, iframes, can't hit him. But if you wait slightly too long, like a hair too long, he flying leaps you in the face and takes your face off. This section is fairly consistent as long as you do the right route and movement. I'm just going to push the cart. Well, molded. I have to, I have to like kind of strafe this way. Yeah, and, movement's uh, very important. Movement is very important. If I do it fast, oh, I messed up. Uh oh. All right, so this guy's gonna catch up, and he's probably gonna hit me once or twice. I've actually found that if oh, you're, yeah, nice. if you're too late, he won't hit you because ah. you've moved forward too much. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, that was close. The four-legged. I was expecting him there. to. I was expecting him to sucker punch me there, actually. But yeah. I guess he like waiting an extra second is almost he, like, like a safe shot. Like, he just like missed. Yeah. Did, uh, oh yeah. That's, that's never happened before. <laughs> Put it on the board. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right. So while this is opening up, I'm going to position my cursor here for that, and then that. Do that, and then we're gonna go up here. We're gonna grab this, grab that. Very busy. Stuff to do. Do a little of this. And then need those neuro rounds there. Please and thank you. Now I have three neuro rounds and uh, two regular grenades. And now we're going into arguably the hardest section of the game. 24 oh, shot wait, shells. Yeah. So I'm 20. actually going to save oh, yeah. right here. It's not it's not like the hardest section of the game, I don't think, but it's uh but it's still a pretty terrible one to yeah. die on. Yeah, it's because it, it is good. brutal. Yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the chances of dying are actually... No, I need those neuro rounds equipped. What am I doing? The chances of dying here are actually... Uh, let's just put it this way. It's enough, it's enough that I don't trust it to go through this in a marathon run without saving. So, yeah. Because if I die here, it'll put me all the way back at the cutscene after Mia. So 
or after you take control of Ethan. So. And the reason why this part, I, in my opinion, is so hard is because you're working with very narrow space coming up here, and you're trying to get through a lot of enemies at the same time. So yep. This guy can sucker punch me, so I'm going to go this way, and done. And this guy is uh, also a sucker puncher sometimes. As long as, you stay, no as long as you stay a reasonable distance away, they won't sucker punch you, but it's yeah. still it's still annoying as heck when they hit. And a great ammo count for here, holy moly. Oh, shoot! Good okay, Ooh, all right, nice. okay, all right, I, shoot, get out of my way. We, and that's what happens if you miss exactly one shot, as I've been saying, it's very Come punishing. On. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That was a bit patient. Okay, I'm, I'm, save, I'm going save. to get yeah, out of yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. That was a good idea. I'm mean, still you, alive. You have the shoddy shells for it, so. Yeah. yeah you, I'm, you've been I'm, blessed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this safe. Home stretch, may as well. No, you don't. <laughs> what do you think oh. you're doing? Get out of here. There we go. Real speedy of me, by the way. You can't risk not at all. Up, though. Mm. I was just trying to try not to die. That's all. No sucker punch. No sucker punch. Decap. Run straight and past. Don't, nice. don't, don't dash. Don't dash. Thank you. Don't be a jerk. And He's going to puke. A little crouch strat here to yeah. avoid the puke. All right. Now I can equip the uh, grenade launcher, and nice. we can drop, and then they'll despawn if he doesn't puke again. Yes. Good, good, good. Oh, here we go. And then please come around the corner. Thank you. And then going to wait for him to wind up, and then bam. And then... Come on. Uh, left. Right, left, right, my other left. Okay. <laughs> okay, then reload really quick. And keeping them stunned allows you to skip them, because otherwise they would be, like, attacking you and puking at you, and if you, they, you try and do that while climbing the ladder, it knocks you off. Yeah. And that's also why you have to clear the tripwires off, because, you know, the game is like, someone's just going to try and walk up the ladder straight away, and yeah. like, nope. That is uh, exactly why I needed as many neuro rounds there as I did. The third one is backup. And those are the mines. That is a skip. Yeah. And that is, uh, that's, that's pretty much like the last section of the game that can actually kill me. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. That was, that was well done. Like, when, when we first routed Madhouse, that almost looked impossible to skip the ladder. Everyone thought it was impossible, but yep. sure enough, we found a way. Never think it's impossible. Games always develop in ways you can never predict, so I've given up trying. I think I have more than enough enhanced handgun bullets here. I didn't realize that I had so much left over after Jack. You have plenty. Yeah. Well, all, those, all those shoddy shells really helped you out. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ethan looks exactly like Ken from Barbie right here. Well, can't really see, but if you look close. Ethan's got that young urban professional haircut about him. Yeah. The quest for the Barbie girl <laughs> in the Barbie world. <laughs> got time for maybe one or two more donations. Okay, we have five dollars from Easy Breezy. Great run, Carson. Shout out to Maxi and Bach on the couch, killing it with the commentary. Hey. We have one hundred and fifty dollars from Revict One Seven Seven. Carsey, this run was an incredible idea. I'm really glad it got accepted. Your reactions and the couch's commentary has made this the most enjoyable game I can remember at GDQ in the five years I've been watching. Damn, girl. Thank you. Wow. Very much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> she liked that too. We got exactly uh, one more. One yeah. more. Yeah. Okay, great, because I'm a little Another creeped one. out every time she giggles. Um, we have fifteen dollars from Rosie. First time watching HDQ and speedrunning in general, and this run has been immensely enjoyable. Love your energy, Carsey. Runner's choice for donation. All right. So, um, boo. This last, sec this last section here, the hits are going to be forced. So, uh. Yeah, you can't avoid these. Yeah, I can't avoid these at all. One. Actually, this is not. There it is. You have to time that block well. And he moves slightly left here so that he gets stuck on the wall so he doesn't get knocked far back so that he can inject Eevee with the... Uh, yeah, nice two cycle. That's about as good as that can go. Right. Yeah. Rest in peace, headphone users. <laughs> it was the grandma. Ah. <gasps> Just ending. In my version of the game, her hair is like spiked in like different directions. I don't know why. <laughs> it's really weird. Oh, that was a perfectly good scarf. Good complexion. What's her secret? Being the ultimate infected. bio weapon is Grandma. Skin so smooth it literally melts. <laughs> <laughs> a 
and now we have Big Head Evie. <laughs> Look how wonderful she looks. Cycles through all the weapons to do a burst amount of damage, because again, you just need to end that fast, and there you go. Jumps yep. far forward because he didn't that's all also the damage. Oh, wow. that, that was a good fight. Very quick, yes. The enhanced ammo is yeah. really powerful. Yeah. The, the quick trick. shooting with the enhanced ammo is probably the most damage you can really do. Mm, yeah, it probably has the most DPS. It doesn't seem like it would be that powerful because it doesn't really make that much louder of a sound effect or that much more impact, but it does like three times the damage and that adds up really fast. Yeah. Also, we have no idea what she just said. I, yeah, <laughs> it's I, complete I gibberish. Know, uh, you don't actually, uh, she doesn't actually take damage over here. I'm just like kind of, I don't know, just shooting her because I feel like it. Yeah, it's I think have every have runner does that. Yeah, yeah. You gotta another, do something. Another forced hit. Another forced hit. Whack. Then there's gonna be another particularly brutal forced hit that we actually have to wait for. Right through the leg. Get lifted. That is a fork, and we are for dinner. Then two more shots. All right, get ready to call time. It's up to this. Let's we'll see if we get like a four shot. Say never call it until it's over. The game can still totally screw you when soft lock here for some reason. Really now? Yeah, it's happened to me. Okay. I just bring this up. Take advantage like of the gaps. This is a five shot. I hit a tentacle. It's good. And it's there good. we go. No soft lock. Re seven. New game badass. And time will be on fade out. Any day now. It's dramatic. You have to watch her crumble. Time. Yeah. Damn, damn it. A uh, huge shout out to the uh, Resident Evil 7 speedrun community. Shout out to these guys on the couch right here. Thank hey. you guys so much for being my co-commentators. Thank you for having us. And also, uh, Same. if you wish to check me out, I can be found at twitch.tv slash carcinogensda. Get all of your illegal cats. Thank you so much. All right, what, what was our final time, RTA? 149.27. Just 33 Precise. seconds. 33 seconds underestimate. That's good. All right. Yeah. Well, that's it. Resident Evil 7, nice. New Game Madhouse, everyone. Great round. Thank you very much. Very well done. And uh, going to uh, pass it off to uh, Bach and Wuscake and uh, wish them luck on their Resident Evil 3 race. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, good question. How much do I have to donate? Twenty-seven minus what? That was five, and you said ten per hit. Yeah. Two hundred and twenty dollars. Ooh, baby. All right. I'll round it up to two fifty. How does that sound? <laughs> Sporting. All right. Thank you guys very much. All right, and that was an amazing Resident Evil Seven Biohazard run. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to go to bed tonight, but it is the end of my hosting shift. Thanks so much for spending time with me, and I'll pass it on over to our next host, Hootie.